ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Eternal Storm, and this is going to be the first uploaded video of this, because technical problems are fun, am I right? <laughs> um, Endlessly. I'll have a link to everything that's happened in the description if you guys are looking for it, and I might make a video or something that kind of goes over it, but uh, in the last session... There was a an encounter with spirits trapped in a scarecrow made by a, a hag coven that had attacked the party after killing a, an elven priest and his wife while they were in a church. And after the party defeated them, they decided to return to town because Morgan wanted to get the supplies necessary to get his familiar back after the tragic death of Nicodemus. Uh, and Novak, who is <coughs> not here today, but will be joining us in the next session, I believe, just decided to drink all day, every day, and now refuses to get up because he's still drunk from last night. And if a warlock that had been traveling with a party had to leave because of troubles in his homeland. Uh, in fact, it was considered the... There are rumors of it being the most devastating attack to ever hit Phalus. Of course, uh, we have a new player today. Uh, Cheryl. And I'll go ahead and get everything started. So... <coughs> As you guys are sitting around, just Gesh and Morgan are currently kind of at the bar waiting <coughs> for uh, Captain Horgan's reinforcements. And you guys hear a kind of a gentle knock at the door. And then you see the door kind of bust wide open as a rather large <coughs> robot walks into the bar. Uh, he then just kind of tilts his head, looks around, kind of spots you. You hear like a some steam releasing from him as this like eight foot tall robot gingerly walks towards you, trying not to hit any tables. And he's followed by a familiar face in the form of Mason, who is the ship's doctor, who also kind of stumbles behind the robot jester. And then uh, behind them, Cheryl, you can go ahead and do your entrance. How would you like to do this? Um, Vesper walks in behind the ship's doctor. Um, looking around, kind of feeling right at home in a tavern and feeling very intrigued by why she has been brought here. As you guys do, you uh, you see uh, the tiefling follow in behind, and uh, following the doctor, she kind of plays her eyes upon you guys, and everybody's just kind of sitting very awkwardly for a moment. Mason says, uh, well, here, sorry about the wait. Traveling with Jester is not an easy task. I have a feeling none of this crap's going to be easy. It I'm never is. I'm sitting at the table kind of organizing herbs and charcoal and in the right measurements as I'm getting ready to prepare my ritual shortly. Okay. Uh, go ahead and subtract 10 gold from your wallet because you had to go buy everything. Uh, but, uh... You guys see Morgan prepare to bring a Nicodemus back. You can go ahead and do that. As everybody just kind of silently watches. <clears throat> I take the charcoal, ground it down, and I kind of dust it around the, center, the bottom of the bowl. And I take the herbs, and I'm lighting them in bunches. Letting them kind of simmer and smolder there before I add it to the bowl and mix it in with the charcoal. It smells 
somewhat pleasant and somewhat at the same time pleasant and disgusting because just the the clash of the different herbs um my hands start glowing with like arcane aura over the bowl as I kind of do magical gestures around it the contents of the bowl start shaping itself along with my just my hand movements <clears throat> I open my hand, my hands palm wide, their palms up, and my eyes fade white like they normally do when I take over Nicodemus. And the mold starts to rise up and form itself into this hard, like, shell. My eyes fade back to normal, and I look at it for a second, and kind of like a baby bird being hatched you see like uh, a claw stick stick out through the shell and then a feather and finally nicodemus just kind of like bursts out of it shaking the debris off of him <clears throat> oh my you guys hear a, a triumphant hoot as nicodemus returns so morgan i have a question for you is this yeah. the same this is a new bird you just got yourself. No, this is the same bird. This is the same bird that got effed up by the the ghost thing. Yes, it's it's hard to explain. Essentially, I'm pulling the spirit of this familiar from another plane. Whenever he's destroyed in this world, he returns to his plane and I have to resummon him. I resummon the spirit, I just choose the shape. He prefers an owl. Don't ask me how I know, I just know. But I could transform him into anything that suits our needs. Just so happens an owl is also very handy. That is amazing. I must say, absolutely amazing. Hello, Nicodemus. Welcome back. His head just kind of I suppose wasn't really paying attention to the words that they were talking, but she saw the um, bird appear out of thin air and starts applauding and saying, Oh, that was so cool! That was so marvelous! Are you a magician? Um, you could say that. I'm looking at her kind of confused, like, are you serious? <laughs> Mason is making a very similar expression on the other side of her. I'm gonna pull out a small, it's a dead mouse, and lay it at Nicodemus' feet for him to feast on. Uh, as I kind of pet him, welcoming him back. You see him kind of look at you for a second, Morgan, and just kind of look at everybody else. And then he <clears> just flies over, grabs a fork, Stabs the mouth of it and just uses his claws to like maneuver the fork into his mouth and start eating it. <laughs> uh, that is a very cool trick. I have never in my life seen that before. My God, how does he do it? And why? Nicodemus just continues to kind of hoot. Gesh is just enthralled by this display of. Uh, what would you call it? Dexterity by the by the owl. Familiars are more intelligent than regular beast. He's able. To, he's capable of doing a lot more than just your regular owl. That's really cool. Uh, as everybody's kind of marveling over the bird who eventually goes to sit on Jester's head because it's the largest thing in the room. Uh, Mason looks to you and he says, So, um, Morgan? Gesh? What are we dealing with exactly? Well, there are some old ladies and they have mystical powers, magic, basically. 
and they are controlling this tribe of dudes, and these are not nice dudes, and we have to go and basically take over the tribe, and then we're going to kill the old ladies, and somewhere in the middle, there should be a windstone for us to uh, take and use, I guess, maybe, hopefully. We pray. So, um, right. Morgan, Morgan is looking at Gesh, kind of like a blank expression. Not that he didn't expect this level from him. It's like he's at a loss for words at this moment. Gesh just turns to Morgan and goes, <laughs> "That's the gist of it, right?" An extremely basic gist. Yes. Mason just kind of face palms for a second. I turn over to um, Mason. There is a coven of hags led by a night hag. They're the ones who commit, who are trying to get the windstone. They are essentially using the wind serpent tribe as their pawns. I'm not sure if the Wind Tribe still has the stone, or if they've already given it over to the um, Night Hags, but these Hags together are very powerful. They can control the wildlife, they command the native tribes in, in a most zealous fashion. Um, so, our best bet is to see if we can coerce the tribal people to join our side. We actually have the body of one of the hags on us. Use that as a bargaining chip. As soon as you just say that, Mason's eyes kind of light up. He says, do you, uh, do you mind if I take a look at that? Hey, man. Sure. Do, your, do your creepy thing. It is not Go creepy. Ahead. I am a dead doctor. body. This is science. Even just whatever you say. And Jester just looks around, just like what the fuck, and just decides to stay where he's at because Morgan, Morgan's Nicodemus is already on top of him. Uh, so you guys are just less with left with Vespers. Who is so? Who so are you exactly, Miss? Miss? Yeah. yeah. I am Vespers. Does Vespers do a thing? Vespers does many things. I am an entertainer of sorts. I share my voice with the world to make it a better place. There's a, nice. there's a sudden shiver down Morgan's neck. As she mentions the voice, he has a flashback of the other night and kind of just shakes it off. Do you know any, like, battle songs? Some. What I don't Sing know I can make it up. What kind of song would you like? I want a battle song. I want to fight something. Is cooking. <laughs> what? what? Vesper scratches <laughs> her head, taps her temple. Hmm, which one would be appropriate? Let's think. Gesh just waits intently. <laughs> 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 Um, Vespers breaks out in, uh, this is our fight song, oh take God. back yeah. our life song, prove I'm alright song. Make a performance check. <laughs> How's that? Wonderful. I don't know, you need to make the performance check. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> I can with, do that. With, with advantage.
can find it on my sheet. Give me a second. Right under oh. perception. I was setting up the toggle. Sorry, give me a second. You're good. No rush. Oh, Damn. yeah. Yeah. That was absolutely amazing. You're perfect at this. Thank you. I thought so, too. I like her. What do you think, Morgan? He kind of nods and shrugs his hand. Are you capable in a fight? I don't know. I don't remember ever fighting before, but I'm sure I would be marvelous at it. Well, I'm not trying to be the downer of the group, but we've had to face a good deal of trials since we started on this little quest, and some of it's not for the faint of heart. Relax. Morgan, trust me, it's fine. She'll sing the songs, we'll do the fighting. Perfect every time. Guaranteed. See, I like him. He's optimistic. I don't know about fighting. I'm sure I would be absolutely wonderful at it. But I don't remember much except for sand in my face and singing, so... Yeah. Sand in your face? Do you come from a beach? Yes! It was like kind of where I was born, I think. I don't know. But it was like... I woke up <sighs> with this elf guy singing over me. And he said they were vespers, but I don't know what they were. But anyhow, he was singing over me and brought me back to life. And I had blood running down the head. I don't remember much before that. But that's where I got my name from and decided that it was so beautiful I needed to sing for the rest of my life. And I just seemed to have a talent for it. So, yeah. So you've died? That's kind of cool. Mm, I don't know if I died. He didn't say. You see some he just said that. No, he said he brought me back to life, so I don't know. Very look, very, some very worried patrons are looking around at you guys now. Because the, the song got their attention, but it's just like, oh, so you've died? <laughs> <laughs> so, Morgan is going to, th this next sentence he's going to say in Elven, just because she mentioned it. So, how did you make it to art? I don't even know if you speak Elven. You don't. I don't speak uh -huh. Elven. I kind of look at him and... It, it, it was a, it was a test. Say, what is he saying? <laughs> I have no idea. I shake my head and kind of just dismiss it back to common. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Would Vespers notice the other people in the tavern like looking at us funny? Oh yeah, it's very noticeable. They're all just like, what is happening over here? Like there's a dragonborn, <laughs> a, a mage, a tiefling, a giant robot, and an owl eating a mouse with a fork. <laughs> you guys are incredibly noticeable. Can Vespers, like, kind of just turn and smile and wave at him, like, hi! Uh, a very confused, half-drunk patron <laughs> waves back. I like people. <laughs> Not. <clears throat> you guys hear slowly as a Nicodemus continues to just kind of chew the mouse. So, shall we see what the creepy doctor has found out after fiddling with the dead body? If he's even done yet? Can't hurt, find out. Do you think Vespers would work on him? I mean, like, not me Vespers, but, like, the priest Vespers stuff? I don't know. It's a possibility, I guess. Where's um, the elf dude? I'm not the... Would I know what the Vespers are? Uh, Vespers are basically just kind of holy songs. That's the best way to describe mm. that. Morgan, you're the smart one of the group. 
Yeah, yeah, the reason I just told you about knowledge check is just because Keen Mind. Okay, yeah. But I, I grew up a cleric, so... Yeah, that too. Okay. So. You guys, uh, exit, exit the tavern. Uh, Jester's able to squeeze himself through the door somehow. Uh, and you guys walk about over here to the stables. Where you see uh, Jester comes in behind you and you see Mason kind of over here working uh, just kind of examining the body at this point he hasn't like, he's he under he kind of understands what you guys like plan is with it so he's not trying <clears throat> to cut into or anything but he's just looking to see what's up he says uh, and anything interesting he, he looks to you guys and he says uh, this is one ugly beast you got there you're telling me you should have seen her when she was alive. Mm. I don't think I would like to do that. Um. Who knows, yeah. maybe you'll get lucky. There's three more where that came from. You guys see, um, you guys watch him take out a, a small dagger and try to cut into the flesh and, like, barely getting any headway. Uh, he's doing it on, like, a very inconspicuous way as to not be, like, a not to show that he's like cut he's not like cutting her up he's just kind of trying to see if it cuts <clears throat> and uh, after him just kind of scratching it for a while a small cut does open up <laughs> then he looks at it you're gonna need something bigger than that she's a tough one he pulls out a a smaller dagger that appears to be made out of a, a different metal and then he just makes a a pretty easy cut or smaller I guess. Says, uh, hmm, what I thought. Hags are, uh, they're fade creatures, are they not? Yes. Your, uh, everyday metals do not work on them. However, silver makes them pretty vulnerable. It then kind of flashes the dagger up, and you guys see uh, traces of silver on the edges. Gash, you sent your slave to the blacksmith before we left last time, right? Yes, I did. Before we go again, let's see if he'll embed your glaive with some silver. Ooh, that's a good idea. I like that. Then I can really cut him up. Ah, oh, yes. I'll look over at Vesper. Are you armed, or do you just sing? weapons. I pull out my rapier and kind of slash it around. Yeah, avoiding okay. people. The makeup performance check? Yeah, yeah. With this kind of thing is performance. Just to <clears throat> see if just to show them how proficient you are of a rapier. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Vespers pulls no. out the rapier and just with unparalleled agility and skill, makes a few slices into the air. You can see, you could, you swear you can see like the air move where she's cutting it, and then she just slowly puts the rapier back into its sheath. Not bad. You might see about getting yours and but it as well. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'm good. That sounds fun. You can trust him. He's pretty smart. Mason looks to you guys. Right. You guys. He says, um, you know, if you guys could just provide me with some silver, I could easily do that as well, right? That he works. He then just points to the giant robot and he says, I made that. Surely I can enhance your weapons of silver. You made him? He's huge! Yes, he is very large. It take a while. That is so cool. Can you make me a friend? Oh, yes. Can I inspect him? Inspect I want to see. Uh, make an investigation check. Or ma are you investigating him or Mason? Uh, Jester. Okay. 
Uh, his his jester hat kind of jingles as he looks at you. Twenty six. Uh, I want to. Sir. He's really well made. He appears to be powered by a kind of a magic stone of some kind. Uh, I'll say your keen mind tells you that it's similar to a windstone, but electricity. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, he appears to be made out of a like kind of some clockwork components. Uh, it doesn't really appear that he has like a how do I say it? it's like human like human intelligence, but he he appears to be more like an AI just the way he acts. Like a, whatever he's standing still, he all he does is look at things, kind of like scanning them. This is very remarkable. A, I assumed it was just a copy of the Reef of the Warforged from Hazelheim, but this is something completely different. Yes, um... Warforged are not something I can create. Uh, they're... He kind of looks a little nervous, and he says, Warforged are different. Uh, creating... While it's fine to create an AI like Jester, um, creating, he kind of searches for words, creating life through metal is a different matter entirely. As a, but I, I created him to protect me when I'm on the field. He is the, uh, Justin, Justice Endowing Super Fret Engagement Robot Jester. Ah, uh, <clears throat> Jester. That's why he wears the hat, isn't it? I don't know why he wears the hat. Oh. I'm just, he, he, he kind of chuckles. He says, I'm just messing with you. Captain Horrigan bought it for him as a joke. Oh, okay. But yes, Jester's a very loyal companion, but his fists are not silvered. But... I don't think that'll matter if he's able to get a grip on those uh, tags, was it? Yes. Could you not silver his hands too? If you can do our weapons, can't you silver him? What if we dip them in silver? That would be a lot of silver. That's fair. I mean, I, I could speculate with silver, but uh, in order to... It would take a, a couple days to modify him like that. <clears throat> the way he's built, he's not supposed to be detached very easily. Metal can be melted, but I'd prefer not to melt my robot. Very well. Shall we go get some silver then, fellas and lady? Uh, you could swear okay. Nicodemus uh, looks offended, as it was not mentioned. <laughs> but, uh, you guys travel down to the blacksmith. You see that old dwarf again. Uh, he says, Oh, have you come back for more? Yes, we have, sir. How much silver do you have? Uh, you see him kind of comb through some sheets. And he just kind of starts laughing hysterically and puts on a straight face. Zero. Didn't you guys hear about what happened? With uh, the silver mines to the north? So how much? None? None. Uh, For real? He says, uh... We were just informed this, uh, this morning that they weren't able to send their latest shipment. Uh, something about pirates at the mine. Uh, what about silver weapons? Do you have any silver weapons? Anything we can, like, melt? He looks around and he says, This isn't really a jewelry store. Silver is not a common medium. Fair point. I don't I think pull, I've ever used it. I pull out a small pouch 
containing a hundred silver pieces. I set it down on the counter. Would this work? He looks at it for a moment. And he, uh, he says, uh, well, it depends. How sturdy do you want your weapon to be? Because, uh... We don't need a weapon forged. We just need to augment, tip their weapons, point at, uh, Gash and, uh, Vespers. And I might need a few pinches of silver powder. He says, uh... Hmm. He's kind of, a, like, stroking his beard. And he says, uh, how much, uh, how much silver, silver are you willing to give? Because to, to be able to, <laughs> to even tip a weapon for it to be effective at all is going to be a lot. Um, excuse me? His head kind of perks up, uh, yes, miss? So, um... Vespers turns and looks at Morgan because he's supposed to be the smart one and says, um, I know I'm not the smart one here, but because my weapon slashes more than pokes, should it be just on the tip or should it be on the edge? You should be tipped, but Gash is pike, and I point to the giant fucking pike on his back. That's going to have to be all along the edge. Uh, Mason kind of or, looks around and says, uh, I know a bit about the uh, smithing myself. Uh, silver is a very fickle metal. It would take a lot to just coat it and make it effective like that. He uh, pulls out his dagger, which is, isn't even completely silver. It's just silver edged and has like speckles of silver throughout it. He says, uh, I made this myself, and it cost me 50 gold. I, I sigh deeply. Where is this silver mine located? Uh, <clears throat> says, uh, I don't have a map with me, but it's to the north on the coast. Kind of... Uh, close my eyes and trying to picture it in my head. Can you describe it for me? A, I've been there a couple times. It's a quaint little place next to the mountains. A, but from, from what you could tell the way he's describing it, it'd be like in this area somewhere. A, but uh, the guards have been worried about it all morning, though. We get a uh, shipment of silver every week. In fact, that's where uh, a lot of the silver that are turned into coins come from. But, uh, they some, I, I don't have the, the full story, but some pirates have routed out the owners and are now residing in it. I don't mm. even, they're not even from this country. I think they're from, a. Uh, what was it? Dracon. For real? Uh, that's what I heard. You might want to go confirm that with somebody else, though. I don't know yeah. the deal in rumors. Let's go confirm it with them guys. Am I right, or am I right? I think what Gesh is saying is we're going pirate hunting. God. That sounds fun, I guess. Vespers turns and looks at the dwarf for a minute. Um... I'd like to, I don't know, try to convince him that someone should guide us, <laughs> since he can't give us a map. Uh, are you just at, uh, he says, uh... No, I, I'm wanting to know what I need to roll to do that. Oh, just roll, uh, you don't even need to, like, he, he he's not really, you don't really have to persuade him in this case, he's just kind of like, <laughs> uh, well, uh, Captain Logan 
would know where it is. He's the uh, head of a guard here. You can just check out the prison. In fact, he has quite a few maps he hands out to the guards regularly. Oh, excellent. See, that worked. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. To the captain. I'll be right behind you guys. Are you staying to talk with him for a second? Yeah, yeah just for a second. Alright. You guys go ahead and head up, uh... As a Jester and Mason. Alright. What do you want to say? Quick uh... question. I'm not much of a armor wearer. I'm more of a... Well, I'm a wizard. Yeah. So I was curious, do you have anything in stock that I could potentially use to... I don't know. Help me in battle. So you need a, a weapon of some kind? Thinking armor. more thinking more on the lines of armor. I've heard of enchanted bracers and the such. Around for a moment. Says a Well, it'll it'll cost you a pretty penny. But oh, I have pretty good I have, uh, have this cloak here. And he, uh, goes to the back and pulls out this, uh, purplish cloak. With a, a bunch of runes on it. Uh, made out of some kind of strange, uh, fabric. It has, like, a kind of a satin texture. There's a, this is, a what's commonly referred to as a cloak of protection. Rather expensive, though. This is—it's um, hard to make these. How much? He looks at it. Two hundred gold. How much was it again? Two hundred gold. You're cutting out there. I just heard gold. Uh, two hundred gold. Not two hundred gold. Okay, um, I'm going to place my hand around the necklace around my neck, casting uh, guidance on myself for a moment, and I'm going to look at him, and I'm like, would there be a slight discount? If I manage to get your silver supplies back, roll persuasion eleven and roll the oh. guidance. Uh, isn't that just a D four to that? Yeah, fourteen. Yeah. He says, "Uh." So if you, he says, so if you take care of that problem in the mines discount? Ah, sure, I can give it to you I, half uh, off if you do that. Well, I tell you what, I am a, I try my best to maintain integrity. So I will pay the 200 now, and if I manage to bring the silver back, I can come back and pick up the rest. If not, you keep it, no skin off your back. Works for me. Uh, okay. Any... I'm going to drop... Um, that's 200 gold? Yep. 200 gold. Uh, I have all my... I have all my... My currency split up. Um, platinum pieces are worth 2 gold, right? Uh, platinum pieces are worth, I believe, 10 gold apiece. Oh, 10 gold apiece. Okay. Uh, well then, I drop 20 platinum pieces on the table. Alright. Yeah. <clears throat> no visas. Thank you, thank you. Half of these are yours if you take care of that problem. 
Anything else you want? As he hands you the robe? This'll do. Uh, I kind of fold it up under my arm and head off to the prison. Alright, that is a cloak of protection. It gives you plus two to your AC. Yay! As you guys get Vera, Mason and Jester and Vespers and Gesh are all waiting for you. And you guys, uh, you guys go ahead and enter. Going right, right in. in. Yep. You guys uh, walk in, and you see uh, the captain you talked to earlier, Morgan. Uh, captain Logan is sitting there, kind of looking at a map of a region. He says, oh, this is... This is just dandy. As they see you guys walk in, he says, Are you guys doing anything at the moment? We've come feeling. to talk to you. Alright, what do you need? A map. He just kind of reaches into a box and tosses you one. There you go. Thank you! We hear you're having issues at your silver mine. Yes, um... Have you guys ever heard of the, uh... He kind of pulls out a, a wanted poster. Have you guys ever heard of a Garrock Elmaw? It's an interesting mm. name. No idea who he is. Vespers just shakes her head now. He's a... Mm. He's a well, it doesn't ring a bell to me. Orc pirate from Jakan. Not entirely sure why he's here, but he—he's either captured or killed everybody in the mine, and he, him and his group are now residing there. Uh, scouts tell me that uh, his ship has crashed. Uh, they believe his windstone went out as they were traveling past Arden. Look, sadly, they were blown to the coast. But, uh, he's got quite the bounty on his head, if you guys are willing to take care of it for me. Absolutely we are! What's quite a bounty? 1,000 gold pieces. Oh, sweet Jesus! That's a lot of gold. Yes, he's a... He has... Destroyed five of the Navy ships while, uh... Performing his piracy. Do you know how large his crew is? Very large. I'd say, um... Anywhere from ten to twenty fighting men. All of them orcs. Uh, they've got guns, got weapons, uh, rumored that he himself has a, a magic weapon of some kind, but I'm not sure. I sent a, I sent a couple guards up there to check it out, but they haven't come back yet, and I can't spare anyone else. We still have to protect the town while we're rebuilding it. But, uh, if you guys decide to take care of it for me not only if you get not only will you get the bounty i'll add an extra uh 200 gold because you're doing the guard's job i mean mm. we're not doing anything right guys like we're just kind of chilling we're still we're still like, for shrugs. yeah we still have some preparing to do before we take on the hags, so... Sounds like a perfect opportunity to sharpen our blades, if you ask me. Alright, that's what I like to hear. Says, uh, the guards will provide you guys rations, considering everything you've done for us. It'll be about a... maybe in... maybe a four or five hour journey to get there. Uh, at least by foot. If you're on a horse, you'll probably get there faster. 
Mm. I have a horse. Good to know. Says just kind of frankly. Uh, Alright, I just report back to me once it's taken care of. Don't die. Kind of waves his hand at you. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> wouldn't plan. dream of it. I've already done that once. It wasn't very much fun. He just kind of blinks at that. Just kind of dumbfounded for a second and says, Alright, sure. And you guys are kind of exit the prison as he kind of ushers you out because he has other stuff to deal with at the moment. Mason and Jester say, uh, well, Mason, Jester doesn't say anything, he's just a robot. But Mason says, uh, hmm, is it imperative that I go with you, uh, fellows? I have a. Can Jester come with us if you stay? He just kind of. Defensively, like, grabs Jester. A, I, yeah. I have an idea on a way to deal with the hags, but it's going to take some time to work on it. Mm. But uh, I'll be there in healing potions as he just hands you just like this, uh, like a small bag of random tiny little potions. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. I'm an alchemist at heart. So I think I have something that'll be able to help you guys get through uh get through the hags a bit faster. Can't pass that up. A, I need Jester here because uh he turns Jester around and you guys see that he has a small alchemy station, like a pull out alchemy station inside of his bag. <laughs> Yeah. Is he just like a walking house? My goodness. One day he will be. One day. He says that with a fierce determination he's never had before. <laughs> okay. I guess you can stay. I guess. Is there anything else you guys would like to do before you head out? Mm, I'm going to... Does my cloak need attunement? Uh, cloaks of protection do not need attunement. Excellent. Then, no, no. Um, I'm good. Vespers right. turns to the doctor before they leave and... Just says, is this what I was supposed to be doing? I don't know exactly why I was brought here. As, uh, he kind of whispers to you and he says, uh, the captain said we might need an extra hand, so he wanted to see if you were any good in a fight, so he sent you with me. Oh, well, in that case, I'm sure I'll be excellent in a fight. Sure, I don't remember ever good. doing it, but I think I'll be great. Mm. He just kind of looks at you, just with a kind of a blank face, and he says, yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine, too. And uh, he whispers something in Jester, Jester's ear, make a perception check. You, you don't, you don't even notice him whisper. <laughs> Not very perceptive. <laughs> okay. uh, no, I don't. But anything else you guys would like to do? Um, I'll stop by the general store just to see yeah. if he's restocked on uh. Like, how many healing potions did we get? Eat? Uh, Mason handed you a bag of just five uh, normal healing potions because he's an alchemist. I'll take just one. From that, so put me up to three. And then the other two can have. Whatever from that. Nope, I'm, I'm good, I'm ready to go. Alright. Let's commence the killing, shall we? Okay. Go ahead and roll a, a D100 on random encounters. Okay. 
I'm assuming I'll let I'll let Gesh make that. He's probably going to be the one taking lead on this. Dude, alrighty. Forty-six. Uh, let me check. I have the the land encounters on my phone. Hmm. All right. Travel happens fairly peacefully. The wild last seem to stray away from you guys, and if there's any talking <clears throat> you guys would like to do while traveling, you're good. So I think we need to decide on a theme song now that we have a, a personal band. What do you think, Morgan? Something upbeat? Get you in the mood? That kill. is... That is completely up to you, as long as it's not too distracting. Hmm. Know what the fuck is cooking? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have not what seen is that. <laughs> What is this amazing noise that I hear? <laughs> is this what it means to believe in a god? <laughs> Vespers looks around in the sky and says, I don't know where that came from. That wasn't me. Mm. Well, Vespers, I have a challenge for you. You. You need to figure out a theme song for us, because I have no idea how to do music. And when I say so, I want you to sing it, your heart's content, at a later date. Deal? I will try. Good. I like that. Good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, I'm going to. Now I'll wait till we get there. <laughs> you can go ahead and say what you want to say if you want to try something real quick. No, I'm gonna wait till we get close to to send up a uh, Nick. But I'll, I'll like I said, I'll wait till we get there. Traveling, I'm just gonna be quiet, listening. <laughs> uh, as you guys head up, this kind of a. It's a well-trodden path. You eventually do see the entrance of the mine. The, uh, some bloody marks on the outside. Some flood trails leading inside. And, uh... Despite that, you see no obvious guards. Creepy. Who wants to go inside? I'll send Nick in. He's very stealthy. Oh, you know? Yeah. Alright. I, uh... I go to pet him. Pet Nicodemus, and as I do, I cast Guidance on him. And kind of send him up into the air to let him kind of survey the area real quick before doing a very quiet swoop down right. into... Let me make sure you can see through Nick. Yeah, well, that's dark. Yeah, no, give me a second. I gotta <laughs> make sure you can dark. see through Nick. <coughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, that's big. Yeah. You should be in the, the bottom center. Yeah. So, um, do I need to make a stealth check? You do need to make a stealth check. As soon as Nick enters, how are you, are you doing this through his eyes, or is he just... Um, I whispered him commands just in case I lose contact, but right now I'm, I'm seeing and talking through him. Alright. Because I have, I have control of him for up to 100 feet, right? Yeah, I'll say you're or, No, I get one mile, one mile, so... Okay. Oh, you get one mile? I have control of him. Okay. Yeah. Um. As soon as he enters, you do hear a snoring. A rather loud snoring. Okay. But, uh, go Let me ahead and make see a something real quick. Uh, uh. Where is it? 
Damn it. There's a button. There go. Eight. Mm. Mm. Um, with, um... Guidance. Yeah, and is that... Would his stealth mod have a bonus because he's an owl? Yeah, that's what I was trying to look up. Um, because I have shit for... His dex is 13, I so I think it'd be, uh... It'd be plus one. So it'd be <clears throat> 11 total. Uh, 11 plus the two, or...? Uh, it'd be 11 total. Okay. It kind of flies in. Flies up and he sees a, a very large creature snoring in the nook of a cave. And as soon as he uh, gets him about to... Uh, I'll say within 40 feet of him, uh, his eyes kind of perk open and he makes like a sniffing noise as he kind of gets up. And he says, uh, kind of in a very Sweet. harsh tone, he says something in a giant. You recognize that it's I'm giant, good. but unless you speak it, you do not know what he's saying. Yeah, no, and I don't have the tech language as yet. Um, I'm going to snap my fingers, dismiss him. All right. And I'm going to, he's going to reappear back on my shoulder. My eye, my vision is going to come back and be like, okay, good news and bad news. Let's hear it. The good news is I did not see any of the pirates in that cave. Awesome. Bad news is I think I just woke up a giant. Hmm. Not bad. I guess. I'll let you make something a, to kill, right? I'll, I'll I'll let you make a an arcana check to see what kind of creature he is specifically. He's, Eighteen. Uh, he is an ogre. Yeah. Okay, so I just woke up an ogre. I don't think he knows we're here, but he did kind of per just perk up and mutter something. So, can anybody hide well besides me, should it be necessary? I kind of look over to her. You, you're good at hiding? Of course I am. Okay, um... Look over at Gash and he's all like, How do you want to do this? Balls to the walls, or... Sneak, in sneak attack. It's pretty dark in that cave, isn't it? I kind of hold my hand out, grinning a little, and it starts to... a small little ball of light starts to form in my hand. Not enough to cause too much, but just enough to, to as a visual. It's like, you underestimate my abilities. Let's fucking do this! <laughs> All right, then. Let's do this! Guess just starts walking right into the cave. Oh, god damn it. All right. Let me go ahead and... <coughs> me go ahead and fix your tokens where you guys can... Oh, can you guys see at the moment? Oh, shit. Vespers see... would like to stealth. <laughs> Darkness. Okay, can any of you see? Like... Oh, I see. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I only meant to roll that once. Okay. Fifteen. Mm -hmm. Alright. You guys watch as Vespers kind of start sticking towards the wall a bit. Uh, unless you were really paying attention, it'd be kind of hard for you guys to see her if you didn't know she was there. Alright, uh, yeah, she's just casually walking in. Novak is drunk and not there at the moment. <laughs> He's missing out. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, well, he doesn't get the cut of the gold if we win. Damn right he doesn't. This is our gold. So what's your guys' uh, what's your guys' plan for this? Just gonna walk in and fight him? Um, I'm gonna try to remain quiet. I'm gonna try to get get some type of jump on him. 
But is there it... an ogre in here? Guess shouts. Oh lord, fucking Jesus! I'm gonna walk up to Gesh. Do you have your pike out or your glaive out? Of course I do. Right, I'm gonna put my hand on your glaive, and I'm going to cast. And it just dropped. I just accidentally backed out of it, so I gotta pull everything back up again. Um. Oop, sheet. Oop, sheet. Spells. I'm going to cast light. Ooh. Your. Your uh. Your your glaive is now lighting. <laughs> this cave. Oh yeah, it is. <laughs> there you go, buddy. We can see. I'm guessing I'm not very stealthed now. <laughs> You're more well, stealthed than they are. <laughs> You're also 20. So, yeah. because I'm still kind of stealthed, you're, you're, I would like you're, to you're, use... You're, you're where they're not at, so they're like you. Okay. I would like to use um, my cantrip for message and point at Gash and just whisper very quietly um, in the message. Do you really think announcing ourselves is the best way to go? Hey, you what's the first... In your head. <laughs> voice in my head! Yeah. Whoever you are, relax. I've got this. I mean, once the first blade goes in, he's gonna know. Let's be honest. Ogre! Fight me, you bitch! I just yell. Vespers takes a step back to go back into shadows a little bit better. <laughs> you guys hear um, this kind of screaming in giant as you guys feel the ground quake as the ogre stands in his room and sees you all besides uh, besides hang on, what'd you roll on stealth? Let me double check that. Yeah, he doesn't see Vespers. But he sees Do you have you. the? Are we still looking at the map, or did you change it back? I changed it to the. Oh wait, did you go with it? Oh, you did not. There we go. Yeah, I was like, hang on. Welcome back Oops. to the cave. Yeah, he was having an out of body experience. <laughs> I mean, he actually does that all the time. Now that I think about it. Hmm. Anyway, uh, he begins charging at you. I believe this is a roll initiative. Woo! Oh, not woo. Turn that down slightly. Oh, yeah! I'll go ahead and roll initiative for this guy. Oh. Oh. He's going first. <laughs> then Vespers. I just added Vespers twice. Nice. Morgan. Morgan. If you click on your token when you before you hit initiative, it adds it to the turn order automatically. Yeah, I totally forgot to do that. Yeah. Normally, I'm always clicked, and then sometimes I'm just not. That's all, all right. right. Getting down to business now. Let me see what's gonna happen here. Mm. What's the movement on this boy? Let me see if he can get to you all. Oh, oh, he can. He gets right up. Ooh! You see him charge down the cavern as he continues to scream, just shouting a, what appears to be gibberish as he's going to take a look around. He's gonna move a bit closer to guess. He's gonna take a swing at you. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. You watch him grab this large club. I did not say you could stop playing combat music. <laughs> As he grabs this large club. And he's going to roll to hit. 16. That does not hit. As he brings the club down, you manage to just jump out of the way of it as it leaves a small crater where you were standing. And it is I may have dead. underestimated. It is now Vesper's turn. 
What would you like to do, Vespers? I am going to hum a very odd discordant tune and um, cast Dissonant Whispers on the Ogre. Alright. What exactly does that do again? Okay, there it is. So he has to make a wisdom saving throw. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Yeah, that's about what I thought. Six. So he takes 16 psychic damage. Ooh. It does not have its... He also has to move away. Uh, he does not have his... Oh, wait, yeah, okay, he does have his reaction. Alright, so that's minus 16. And how much does he move? Move away as far as the speeds allow. You guys, uh, you guys hear uh, this whispering coming from Vespers. It becomes a very loud, kind of in your ears. Uh, Morgan, it reminds you slightly of the, how the shadow whispered in your ear. As you see the orc's mind yeah. just kind of crack for a second as he stops moving. If any screams running in the other direction, uh, where it is now Morgan's turn. By the way, you're not oh, you're now. because he he knows where you are now. You just angrily whispered at him. Right. Um. Just a quick question. This is a DM alternative thing. It varies per person, but with the discordant whispers, if he was already in range and then he turned around to leave, do they get an attack of opportunity? Oh yeah, because ten feet he, he is totally get, my range. They, they would Morgan and Gash both would get attacks of opportunity. <clears throat> yeah, but I don't do melee. Um, well, I then Gash would. Absolutely, I would. Yeah, Ooh. nineteen twenty. Yeah, most hit. <laughs> and that's okay. That's just seven damage. Yes, sir. Seven uh, damage. As the ogre is running as fast as he can, Gash takes his glaze and brings it across its ankle, slashing it open and leaving a small trail of blood as the ogre runs. Come back! No! It is now Morgan's turn. Mm. I'm going to... Let me see... Mm. Let me check. Mm. I'm going to send Nick over. Oh, oh, wrong button. I'm going to send Nick over. It's going to perch on Gesh's shoulder for a second and cast uh, guidance on him. And I look out as he flies back. I just give Gesh a nod. Go get him. Fuck yeah. Gesh's turn. I'm just gonna freaking run. Let's see. 30. Up this way. Are you gonna dash to make it up to him? Yeah. Just trying to get closer to him. I think that's about as far as I can go. Uh, if you if you're dashing, then you can get right up to him. Oh yeah. But then yeah. you won't be able to attack, will you? Yeah, no. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna, you know, kind of jog my way after him. But I'm definitely not dashing. I'm just kind of gonna go my full movement speed and be careful because I can't see everything. All right. Uh, do you have any ranged weapons you'd like to take a shot at him with? No ranged weapons whatsoever. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> it's now the ogre's Melee turn. only. His, his glaive. I'm, I'm the ranged only, he's the melee only. Exactly, we're the perfect team. You can toss the glaive. <laughs> <laughs> Yeet! Whack! <laughs> that one falls into a pit of lava. 
<laughs> the ogre rushes. Welcome you back, you big ugly. Manages to shake off the effects, and he screams once again. As he's gonna make did another. Did he make a save? Did he, uh, yeah, he did. I rolled it. I rolled it. Awesome. Yeah, what's the DC on it? Sixteen. Yeah, he made a. He got a nat nineteen, so he just made it. Excellent. I tried, guys. Kill you. <laughs> Just 21. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm. Let me see which one he's going to be hitting you with. Yep. 2d4 plus 8. I mean, 2d8 plus 4. 16 damage. Oh, sweet God. <laughs> he charges. I'm okay. Back, and he just smashes Gesh. Over the head, almost knocking him to the ground, but Gesh refuses to go as he stands there, just punched over where the club is cracking into his back. Uh, I'm alright. I'm good. Now that's for his turn. I kind of um, cringe a little as it hits him. Like, oh. Like a <laughs> Possible you broke five different ribs. I'm all right, guys. <laughs> Trust me. I don't know. The entrance of the cave is looking really good right now. All right. What is the plan? What do you want to do, uh, Vespers? Disconnect? Ha! Ah, I was right. <laughs> Do this real quick. All right, we'll hold turn. All right, we'll hold turn. Okay. Oh wait, okay, you're back. Oh, wait, okay. You cut out. I didn't hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, you're. We weren't here for a second, so we were making sure you're there. I'm still here. Um, I am going to I think use oh crap what happened to me I am going to use my crossbow I think alright so since I'm no longer hidden I'm going to step out of the shadows to here um and Use my crossbow to shoot at the... Yep. Go ahead and roll the hit. Twelve hits. What's the damage on that? Um, hold on. It should have brought it up, but it didn't. It is 1d6... 1d6, hold on. 1d6 plus 5? Is it plus your, uh, isn't it plus your dex mod? Oh, yes, plus three, so seven. Okay. Uh, as his, as he's kind of trying to raise his club off of Gesh, Vesper steps out of where she was hiding and takes a shot, hitting him in the side of the face, and now there's a crossbow bolt buried in it as he roars angrily. <laughs> Now, as a bonus action, oh, bonus action. I, okay. Yeah, as a bonus action, I'm gonna give um, I'm gonna give Gash a an inspirational 
Kick his butt! Go team! <laughs> you now have inspiration as well as guidance. Ooh. The next ability check you have will not fail. <laughs> oh yeah. <coughs> Alright. What would you like to do, Morgan? Okay, I'm going to... Step up closer. I'm gonna ask Gesh, are you good? Do you need any healing? Or do you want me to blast the damn thing? Just kill the damn thing! Got it! I'm remove my wand, and I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb. Alright, 25 hits. And I'm going to choose fire because that's my natural lovey. Ooh. 22 fire damage. Oh, yes! You shoot this uh, small orb of fire out of your hand as it quickly makes its way towards the ogre. It quickly builds up in size into just a large fireball crashes into him, almost knocking him over, and he screams in pain, taking the entire cave. We've got him on the ropes! And uh, as this happens, you guys hear um, a couple of uh, footsteps approaching quickly, shouting, uh, Ordog! Ordog! As uh, two orcs quickly rush into the scene. Yes, you can see them from where you're at, I believe. Well, actually, you can't, but you can hear no, them. No, I cannot. You're 40 feet away, so you can hear them saying this. Oh, God almighty. There's more! I you just yell. Alright, it is your turn, Gesh. Alright, so... For starters... Uh... Ooh. For starters, I want to use a uh, second wind. Alright. To right. attempt... That's to a regain bonus some action, health. Yes, that is a bonus action. <laughs> oh, oh, no. wait, oh, Morgan, roll a con constitution check to see if you're able to uh, cast guidance because you're concentrating. So, do constitution check to see if you're able to hold it as you cast. Is it just a straight constitution? constitution? Uh, yes, constitution saving throw. Alright, you're, okay. you're able to hold it. Alright, and guess you get back 8 health? Yes. Now what would you like to do? So I'm gonna freaking chop this motherfucker up with my glaive, I swear to god. Well, hits. Roll damage? Not so great. You can roll damage. And yes. Thirteen. I'll take that. Thirteen. So, how do you want to kill this one? Yeah, <laughs> baby. Mm, great starters. I'm gonna carve this boy up. I just, I just take it, and I swing the glaive right through his gut, just opening, slicing it open, letting everything just kind of like spill out, and then I just bury it in his neck. And I just laugh and look at him and I go, How do you like that? Morgan, make a madness check because you're just watching this dragonborn bathe himself in blood. <laughs> Man, what's, what's madness? Check? Oh, madness. Wisdom saving throw. Oh, wis wisdom? I'm sorry. 14. <laughs> uh, let me think. Yeah, 14 makes it. <laughs> so you're able, to, you're able to hold your composure there. As the ogre go goes down, you hear those, uh, you guys now up to hear them clearly too as two orcs come into the distance. As they say, uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put this guy to zero health here and put the thing on him so you know where he's at. Oh, wait, where's the giant X? There you go. <laughs> And you guys hear uh, orcs approaching, and they will 
Now that they see uh, this dragonborn bathing in their ogre's blood, they're gonna roll initiative to join into a fight as well. Please roll poorly. Five. So they will go. They tie with Gash. They will. Yeah, they'll move on this next turn. This one's going to charge over here to Morgan. This one's going to charge over here to Gesh. And you guys see, uh, you guys are able to hear uh, more footsteps coming in. As they, uh, they know you're here. Alright. And this first one is going to swing at Gesh. He lifts his axe and bellows as he charges. <laughs> mm. <sighs> Gash was too busy reveling in the blood of his fallen foe. <laughs> oh, this is I may hurt. have made a slight error. This is gonna hurt. Slight. Ooh. That's everything! Oh. What's your constitution? My constitution is uh, 16. Okay, luckily for you, you're still alive, but you go to negative 14 health. Oh! <laughs> oh, As man. As almost cleaves you into the giant gash, blood pouring everywhere. Gash is. Oh, that's gonna leave a mark. Yeah. I don't know, that's enough health where I'm considering him losing a body part. Make a constitution save, Gesh. Alrighty. One constitution save coming right up. Okay. 22. He cuts heavily up into your arm, but luckily your armor and your natural scales manage to just keep it attached. Guys! Ugh. This isn't good! Alright, and then uh, this one's gonna make its attack at Morgan. <laughs> He does not hit. No. Alright, now it is Vesper's turn. No good to be had here at all. Um. <laughs> Hold on, I'm measuring. Okay, I'm gonna do another Dissonant Whispers that was not my original plan, but. I'm gonna do a dissonant whispers on the one that's ah on the one that's um over here. Uh, Why is my pointer just not working? Sorry, this one over here. Okay, the one next to more. Okay, the one next to Gesh. All right, and he'll make a wisdom saving throw. Are you within sixty feet? Yep, I bet fifty. All right. Fifteen. He does not make it. Go ahead and roll damage. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to do it from that, so it'd be five. Right. Wow. Sucky damage. Oh! That's disappointing. <laughs> that's really disappointing! <laughs> uh, he watches it. Watches it. His nose starts bleeding a bit. <laughs> and... But he also runs away. He is running away, yes. He runs right back up to his orc buddy, screaming. <laughs> Alright, anything else you'd like to do? Like you know, he's saying, she bloodied my nose! She bloodied my nose! <laughs> um, <laughs> I am also going to use a bonus action to give um, Morgan an inspiration as well. Excellent. I'm going to need a phone about to pull off. Alright, Morgan's turn. Unless you want to do anything. Oh. Like, do you want to move at all? I'm done. Good? Do all right. I'm not getting closer, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we'll Safe go distance. Let me scroll back up. Uh, inspire another creature within, within the next 10 minutes. Add a d20. So what is... I can add a d20 to anything? Oh, you add a d6. Add a d20. Oh, d6 to anything I wanted. Uh, I believe it's 
I don't think you can add it to attack rules. I'm not sure. I think that's something College of Valor does, but I'm not sure if all bards do that. Hold on. Let me, um, that's what it, I just copied that from the thing. Let me just pull it up from the Impendium. Yeah, just to make sure, because I, ha I have a plan. Oh, I like it when you have a plan. I have a plan. It almost always bails me out. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> <coughs> Okay, so it says Bardic Inspiration. You can inspire others through stirring words or music. To do so, you use a bonus action on your turn to choose someone within 60 feet of you who can hear you. The creature gains one Bardic Inspiration die, a d6. Once within the next 10 minutes, the creature can roll the die and add the number roll to one ability check, attack roll, or saving throw it makes. The creature Ooh. can wait until after it rolls the d20 before deciding to use the Bardic Inspiration die but must decide before the DM says whether the roll su succeeds or fails. Once the Bardic Inspiration die is rolled, it is lost. A creature you can, you can, can only have it, one. You can use it to an attack roll if you would like to. That is excellent. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what I'm going to do here because I'm... So the orc... This is an orc, right? Yes. yes. What, did, what, what, did he, what did he swing at me? Uh, he swung his axe. Great axe. Okay, so he swung his axe. It missed, and... I'm going to use his momentum, grabbing the arm that he swung at me, to pull aside, aim my wand at that little pink box right there, which gives me 20 feet all around, and I'm going to go, just, everybody go to sleep. Including Gesh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and, including Gesh, if I have to, because I just, boom. All right. Everybody I can, go to sleep. And then I'm going to add 1d6 uh, Make to an that. athletics check to see if you're able to just push him out of the way. Two, one. Athletics? Yeah. Well, no, I'm not pushing him out of the way. I'm kind of like using him to pull around okay. Okay. to shoot behind I him. I see what you're doing. All right. So. So 25 total. 25 total. Two orcs collapse, instantly falling asleep. However, the third one is still up. Damn. Where's the where's sleepy time at? Okay. Which one's still up? Uh, this one right here. It's not the one that's got the bloodied nose, right? It is not the one with the bloodied nose. Well, uh. Yeah, it is not the one with a bloody nose. Darn, I tried. <laughs> He's now asleep and incredibly Damn. afraid of you. Oh, I was, I was, I was hoping the one next. I was hoping the one next to me was gonna go to sleep. Shit. <laughs> Good. All right. Gash, yeah, make a con saving throw. Oh yeah, the death saves. So they come. Oh. That's then, unfortunate. You fail the first one. That's understandable that you'd fail the first one, considering you almost lost an arm. Yeah. God, I want a robot arm now. <laughs> I just wish they cut it all off. We know someone that can do that. We do. Yeah. <laughs> mm. <laughs> all right. Oh, it ignores unconscious creatures, so you're not asleep. You're just in pain. <laughs> just in just, desperate pain. You're just dying, but you're not asleep. Alright. The orc's turn. This one's going to come over here. He's gonna... <laughs> this one's gonna come over here and do something about the, the witch that's whispering at his friends. This one's gonna come over here and start attacking Morgan. Alright. This will be at... Vespers. 18 hit. 18 does hit. Oh, Alright. Vespers, you take 5 damage. And this is at Morgan. Does that hit? That's just at my AC, yeah. Oh, 
just hits. You take eight damage. Eight. The orc charge an orc charges wildly at Morgan, and another passes him going for Vespers. When the orc clashes into Morgan, he gets a good cut off, ramming his uh ramming his axe through your uh I'd say your left ribs, but not able to get completely through it because of a cloak. But shimmers with an arcane energy kind of slowing the momentum a bit. Everyone charges in at Vespers, and manages to get a, a cut on her shoulder. Vespers, what would you like to do? Okay. I am going to swing at him with my... Um... <clears throat> My rapier. All right. Go ahead and roll the hit. Oh, that's a crit. Ooh! Get, Get him, girl. Nat twenty. Nat twenty. First attack. <coughs> Nat twenty. Let's go. All right. Go ahead and roll damage. You get an extra D eight on top an of extra that. Extra D eight on top of that. That's what I thought. Hold on. So, 12. Alright. Uh, let me think. Yeah, you add your, uh... I'm trying to think if you add your dex bonus to the second one or not. I don't think you do. No, it's just to the... It just doubles the, yeah. the d8. Alright. He has 15 health normally, but I'm gonna say for theatrics, just stab him. <laughs> uh, as he charges you, he gets a cut up on your shoulder. Did you draw your rapier and skewer him? The rapier going straight through the iris of his eye and poking out as you quickly pull it out and there's not even blood on your rapier. It happened so fast. And I say yes! I knew I would be awesome at it! It is now Morgan's turn as you are now cheering yourself. Okay. Um. This guy comes at me. Nicodemus is going to fly in his face and basically help me to distract him. I'm running over to Gesh. He is going to make going... an attack of opportunity, but he's going to do so at disadvantage. It... It does not hit. At... Damn it. No! He doesn't, he doesn't hit I didn't... You. you have a 12 AC. Okay. Okay, good. Whew. Yeah, he did it at so, so, I just narrowly escaped that swing. Yep. And I should have. I, I, and that was my fault. I should have sent Nick to do this, but I'm not thinking straight. I run over, place one hand over the wound on Gesh, one on my necklace, and I cast. Uh, And I cast. There's my... there it is. Found it. Paradigm. Ah. So. All right. Well, he has a he has less than zero hit points. Actually, no, that's not how that works. It's just a. Uh... Yeah. Okay. So uh, you touch him, and his bleeding stops. He starts breathing a bit steadier, but he doesn't. He's still not going to be getting up unless uh, he gets a bit more healing. But uh, he is alive. I'm going to point. Bleeding. And I'm going to point at the, the orc and shout out to Vesper. Get him, get him as Nicodemus kind of flies back off over towards me. Right. Yes, you do not have to make a... Uh... A death saving throw, but you are still unconscious nice. as you're at zero hit points. I'm dreaming of uh, past battles. Yeah. Feeling much better. Now the, the orc's <laughs> turn. Hmm. I'm going to roll a, a d3 to see who he goes for. Ooh. Goes for Morgan.
That's a 22, that hits. Uh, that hits. He does 10 damage. <laughs> I believe that knocks you out. No! Yep, that drowns me. I agree. No! <laughs> <laughs> it is now Vesper's okay. turn. Ugh. I'm thinking. With me being, being unconscious, unconscious, Nicodemus disappears, right? Uh, yes. So. And Morgan's just unconscious. He's like at zero health, right? He's not like below. He's like at I'm negative, negative two. two. I consider it zero hit points. It's just if you go under your constitution. Like, for mechanics purposes, it's zero hit points, but if you go under your constitution, you you just die. You don't get any death saving throws or anything like that. Okay. But if I hear him, it, it goes from zero... If I heal him, it goes from zero up, though, right? Yeah. Not from negative two up? Yeah, it goes from zero up. Sweet. Um, I am going to use my action... No, I'm not. I am going to use my <laughs> crossbow... And try to shoot the orc. Alright. Roll to hit. That does not hit. As you uh, pull pull uh, pull the trigger, you kind of manages to duck out of a way and your arrow bounces off a of rock. Oh. Anything else? Anything you'd like else to you'd like to do? Oh, because I don't think I can inspire the dead or the unconscious. So. <laughs> Actually, can I can I pause to talk to him for a minute? The yeah, orc? Yeah. Oh, he can't understand me, probably. Forget it. I mean, you could try. Sing. I never said they didn't understand common. Okay, I'm going to try. Hey! He kind of perks up and looks at you. Why are we fighting? <laughs> can I try to persuade him to have peace? Like, my battle, my friends are down, your friends are down, why don't we just, like, not let me kill you, and you can go along your merry way. Let's try that. You killed Org. He says. I didn't, I, I didn't kill him, I was hiding in the shadows over here, I was perfect. I'm trying to make peace with you here. I would just love to be your friend and let... Time. You take care of your people, I'll take care of my people, and we will pass ways. I'll let you guys go. I know you have another one down the hallway. I'd hate to have to kill you both. Roll a persuasion. 27. Here, I'll, I'll roll it against his uh, wonderful insight. <laughs> scratches his head. He says, okay. He just kind of walks over the ogre and he leaves everybody alone. As he goes and collects his sleeping, sleeping friends, and drags them deeper into the cave. Okay, I'm, can I move freely? Yeah. Combat is now over. Okay, I'm going to move over to my Owied companions, <laughs> and I am going to take the two healing potions that I have and dump them down each of their throats. All right. What was the the healing? It was a, I believe it was two d four plus two. Do I roll for? Okay, I was gonna say, do I roll for them or do they roll for themselves? But they're they rolling. roll for themselves. I got nine. So I'm back up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine. Plus Ian. Right. Does that bring Gesh back? Yep, that brings you both back. Vesper <laughs> smiles as you guys start to, you know, come around a little and says, 
wow, I so did not see me being the one left alive. But I told you I'd be awesome at this. It happens more than you think. Also, what's the state of my arm at this point? Is it, like, still hanging? The, the potion has restored it a bit, but it is rather sore, and you've got a pretty gnarly scar. Tight. Let's let's head outside and try to rest up a little bit before we try this again. Mm. Wait, before we leave, like the large the large thing that we killed, the first original guy and the guy that I killed, he didn't pick up their bodies. Can we loot them? Yeah. Uh, so on the ogre, you find just a lot of guts and blood. But, uh, <laughs> as you search, uh, unwillingly search his uh, loincloth, you find a, a little pile of gems he had stashed. I'd say about a 20 golds worth of gems. And then uh, on the body of the orc, you just find uh, about 30 gold. And you also get his, uh, he's wearing a uh, half plate armor. And he has a, an axe. And two javelins. But a 50 gold, a great axe, and two javelins. What you guys <laughs> Okay. So, I just kind of... You know, I, I don't care about the armor or the javelins, but I pick up the, the gold and the pile of gems um, and kind of smile to my new companions and say, Looky! You can go by beer. <sighs> smiles. I like beer. Yeah, let's let's head out of here for a second. Guys, uh, All right. You guys exit the cave. What would you guys like to do? Return to town or just try to camp out there? Just camp outside. Okay. Screw going back. We're not going back without their heads. <laughs> yeah. Without their heads? Oh, honey. You hit your head a little harder than I thought you did. I thought it was your arm. It's, it's, it, it was everything, but I swear... We're getting them now. I got a grudge. And no, I said I, 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 I talked peace. Temporary. I, I, Whatever I, I, peace you talked is temporary. What? I didn't talk peace. But they didn't kill you. Not yet. Vesper starts to tear up a little. And sniffles. I walk over to Vesper and I place my hand on her shoulder and I cast Whisper to her and Whisper, it's a deep-seated orc dragonborn thing. You're not going to be able to convince him of it. Okay. Um, are we doing a short rest or a long rest? Up to you I would say, sh I'd say short. Short rest 100% of the way. I'm doing a short rest and then I'm going back in. Yeah. Okay. So I do have Song of Rest, which, um, here. I believe it gives him an extra D6, doesn't it? Yep. Extra D6 healing. Ooh. What was the uh, normal healing for a short rest? Uh, you roll a hit die. Oh. Uh, okay. <clears throat> and then. Then you roll a, another d6 because of this. Oh. I'm back to fall. Uh, four. And then, oh no, wait, that's a. Uh, I mean, you. Yeah, we're going yeah, to roll a d6. Mr. DM! Yes. I am in fact. I am in fact. <laughs> the um, so I got nine. So if I'm, I'm not mistaken, out. the song of rest does come off of my bardic inspiration points, right? It doesn't say that. Sword. I don't think it does because you're just 
you're not really inspiring them. You're just playing a song as everybody's chilling out. So I say it. So I say it. Okay, okay and I don't get those back at rest unless it's a long rest. Am yeah. I correct on that? You are correct on that. Thank you. I'm going to use Arcane Recovery to get my two spell slots back, or two level one spell slots back. Alright. You guys, uh, as you're okay. kind of, uh, hanging around, is there anything you'd like to say as you're resting and tending to wounds and such? I guess just sits silently, fuming, super angry. What about a, a Morgan and Vesper's case? Vesper is going to sit next to the fuming Gash and bat her eyelashes at him and say, so I know that you have this thing with you and them and the stuff and I don't get it really, but we have pirates to go get and silver and can we do them later? Like when you're not so owied? No time for later. As soon as I'm feeling good, I'm going back in there with or without you guys. Can I try to persuade him otherwise? <laughs> mm, that's up to him. Because with players, it's kind of weird. You can roll insight checks and stuff, but persuading them, it's really up to the player. I mean, he can if he if he wants you to try, you certainly can. You're welcome to try, but this is like a. Yeah, I, deep -seated. This, I have a feeling you'd get advantage. <laughs> deep seated history thing. I'd say uh, Especially... how this works is that the, the player basically sets the DC. Yeah, I'd give it like a. Let's see, you're rolling a D20, so it's it's gonna be like a, like basically a 19 or a 20 probably is gonna sway him. It's one of those like I go 18, 18, 19, or 20. Yeah, because I lost. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sorry. Oh, you're fine. No, I mean, it's it's who she is. She would try, but it's who you are, and you would good for her. Go the other way. Oh yeah. Are you back to full health? Basically, who's ready to rock and roll? Is there anything else you guys would like to talk about as we get ready? I want to send Nicodemus up. Not necessarily the cave, but the area around. Because I want to see... Because we're close to the... To the uh, shore, right? Yeah, I, here, I'll... Uh, since you guys are now at the mine, I'll, I'll show you like exactly where it's at. You guys are right there. Okay. I see nothing. Oh, yeah, you guys are right there. <laughs> okay. I forgot, your thing is a, where I had to drag you to the cavern, I have to manually drag you to places. Yeah, so I want to basically see if I can see the shipwreck or any other signs of orcs or anything else. To see if there is any more outside or try to determine if they're all in the cave or not. Make that perception check. <clears throat> and then, of course, I will give myself guidance. Alright. Anyways. Perception. And then... And then uh, oh, 1d6. Oh, no. Uh, D4. So, 14. 14. You see, uh, you don't see any orcs. Um, it is getting kind of later in the, the night, though. Maybe like a 6 or 7. But uh, you do notice a, a wrecked ship. It is completely destroyed. And uh, as I'd say you're in with, within one mile, so if you'd like to, you can try to investigate. Hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll send Nick to go investigate it. All right. As he uh, swoops down, uh, make an investigation check. Perception. 
uh, investigation. Oh, that's true. Nineteen. As you're, uh, you're very familiar <laughs> with ships, and despite this being from Dracon, it's still rather standard, just kind of a different designs mostly. But as you're looking through it, you see um some treasure, uh, see some just spoiled food, that kind of thing. Come to where the, the windstone would normally be, and it is a uh, not there. In fact, the the stand, for lack of a better term, but it's usually on. Uh, it appears it was like ripped out of it by something. Uh, so it's it appears to, it looks like to you that it's very possible something came onto this ship, ripped the windstone out, and that caused the ship to crash into the shore. Where it was torn to bits by the storm. Guys. This is just a theory. But I think the pirates aren't necessarily our enemy. I don't care who they are, they're dead to me. Oh, no. I'm not saying we don't kill them. But I'm saying we can use them as cannon fodder. This sounds intriguing. I'm looking at their ship, and it looks like their windstone is ripped out. I'm having a sensation that it might be our old friends the Coven. I think they're looking for more than just one windstone. They might be trying to gather more. Your point? Vesper doesn't know what you're talking about. She's just going to, you know, look lost and cute and cuddly until she has something to argue about. No, I'm, I'm, I'm still kind of mulling it over in my head, but I just shake my head. Fuck it. Let's go kill these bastards. <clears throat> so we're going back in to kill the orcs. Ogres. Absolutely, we are. All right. Is everybody ready? Mm hmm. Yep. Yeah. Mine round two. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> ding ding. Is everybody in the cave? Is everybody in the cave? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I'm going to still, you know, quietly argue with Gesh as we're walking in. This is silly and ridiculous, and family history battles make no sense. I'm positive of it. I just know it. It makes perfect sense. They're orcs, and I hate orcs. And we came in here to kill them all, and we haven't yet. And until we succeed, we are not leaving this cave. Stubborn mule. Thesis. Oh wait, sorry. Very... <laughs> <laughs> he's only half orc. <laughs> he's only yeah. he's only half abomination. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Which way would you guys like to go? Okay. Left or right? Alright, let's... Let's just keep walking in. Carefully, though. I don't want to get surprised. Would you guys like to make stealth checks? Yeah. I would! I would! <laughs> right. Everybody holding wants on. to roll stealth, roll stealth. Lord Jesus. Ooh. Mm. Oh, Lord Jesus. Mm. Poor Morgan. <laughs> you and me, buddy, I'm not rolling stealth. <laughs> as soon as Morgan tries- Vesper sneaks into the shadows and Morgan tries to follow her, but before she can, uh, you're familiar- I trip over the stairs. <laughs> you're familiar, it just starts hooting loudly. 
Shut up. Woo! It starts goblin is screaming. Vesper's points at um, Morgan and whisper does message to him and whispers in his head and says, "If your owl would like to sit on my horn, it would be okay." <clears throat> I can't do that. I'm using him to see in the dark. <laughs> yeah, whenever Not Morgan well. walks around, how he gets his dark vision (air quotes) is that he has <laughs> a bird yeah. sit on his shoulder. And then it sees through the bird's eyes as he walks. Oh! Um. <clears throat> so. I guess I'll I'll just follow slowly behind Gesh. But I want to keep I want to keep my eyes open, scanning around every time we move. While you are still moving loudly, Gesh isn't even trying to be stealthy. You're like crouching behind Gesh as your owl just starts shrieking. <laughs> Gesh is just doing like a Vince McMahon walk down the cave as he looks for something to kill. Oh yeah. I am not leaving without the heads of these pools. He has a head over to this area at first, which appears just to be where the, the ogre was sleeping. Had himself a small little nest, but nothing of relevance there. Yes. Let us you can make an investigation our... check, though. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to do that. I'm curious. Uh, I'll, I'll join him. Mm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 11 or 0. Um, <laughs> you, uh, you see a couple of uh, <clears throat> humanoid bones in the area. In fact, uh, Morgan is able to see um, a, a little fresh bit of flesh next to one of the bones that was apparently ripped off. Mm. The ogre was, a uh, how do you say it, eating good. But uh, there's nothing else of, that you can see that's of value or anything like that. This is just where he slept. Uh, using your keen mind, you can just assume that they kept the ogre out here as a guard, and he used his sense of smell to kind of sniff out intruders, which is why they haven't had guards posted no. outside. All right, where'd you guys like to go now? What was the what was his name again? Uh, Orug. Orug. Okay. Uh, just keep looking around, I guess. I'm looking for something to kill here. What's over here? Um, see stairs. I think some kind of nook. No, nothing. There's just um, you. Rocks there. Uh, it appears to be some silver ore. This is definitely the silver mine. We nailed it. <clears throat> hmm. What can we find? Make a make a perception check. Perception. Ooh, nat one. <laughs> roll it, roll it, D one hundred. One second. Oh shit. <laughs> I get perception with advantage, so I get twenty two. Sixty four. Sixty four. Hmm. You two, uh, also roll a. He also make a perception check of air vespers. But uh, how I do nat ones, um, I'm it, if something's not particularly a danger. I won't have you roll a d100, but if you roll a nat 1 in a dangerous situation, you get a you get to roll a d100, and that's for a percent chance of something bad happening. And Morgan and Vesper are able to stop as they see a small trip wire where they're at, as Gash just tears right through it. 
And because you rolled a nat 1 and you got a 64, um, you get to large, you get to make a dexterity save with disadvantage. Okay. As a large boulder falls from the sky. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> dexterity save. Wow. Oh, roll a d100. Oh, I'm going to kill myself <laughs> in this damn cave. Told him we should not have come. <laughs> told him we should not have come. I told him we should not. Oh. Have come. <laughs> I told him so. I told him so. Okay. Okay. So, by the way, D100 is instant death. Hmm? How much health do you have? 21? <sighs> Interesting. Let's see how much damage this does, shall we? Oh, fuck me. 19 damage. <laughs> Wow. You're also pinned under a rock. I'm still alive, I swear to god, I'm still alive. <laughs> and just to rub it in, the majority of it is just... Like, this, entire, this rock's on all of your body. Like, oh. Yeah. But, uh, there's like a sharper, sharper point of it that is pointing into your arm that almost got cut off earlier. Oh! <laughs> A little help, guys. And uh, you guys here. Uh, guys here. Uh, Vespers walks over and says, "But you could have helped yourself. We could have not come back in." Uh, bitch. <laughs> you guys here. You guys Vesper here, uh, smiles and tosses her hair back. It's just, it's a challenge. I know. You guys hear footsteps. I don't like her anymore. As um, you guys hear running footsteps, and uh, you hear some. Kind of some screaming and giantish again. <sighs> and then some. All of right, them, all uh, right. One of them says in a. Yes, listen. I know you want to kill them. Hmm? Um. One of them just shouts, uh, "The trap has been triggered!" Incredibly loudly as it rushes over. Did I go ahead and say what you were saying? Vespers is going to holler back down the hall. But we're friends. <laughs> Get him out from the rocks. <laughs> All right, I'm going to hold up my hands and cast. Um, what are you casting, Morgan? What are you casting? Never mind. I don't have it. Oh, give me one second. No, I can't do it. Right. I was gonna try to do comprehend language, but it takes an yeah. hour. Oh, fine. Uh, <laughs> I don't uh, have time for that. One of the orcs. But she has a good persuasion roll. Yeah, one of the orcs um kind of stops in his tracks. Says, "Why are you guys back?" In common. <laughs> He's directing this in a direction. Desperate to okay. spin, but he currently cannot see her. I'm I'm going to cast a message at Gesh and whisper to him, I'm all down with killing these guys, but you need to follow our lead if we're going to make it out of this alive. Uh, am I still under this damn rock, too? Yes, you are. Because I'm not strong. I ain't going to pick your ass up. Uh, I'm, going, I'm going to carefully... Step around the rock. Step forward. I have my hands up non-threateningly. I, I think, think I, I know, know what happened to your shit. One of the, the orc Vesper had spoken to earlier pops up. As a... Yes, uh... We know what happened we to know what happened. But please listen, we're trying to help you. Then why would you walk on the trap? The trap is for enemies. I'm gonna kill you, I swear to god! <laughs> Do you say that Do you out say loud? That? Yep. See? You should not talk Enemy. to your friends that way! I go turn around and I... grab a rock and shove it in his mouth. <laughs> mm. Gash is just <laughs> not having it... today. <laughs> Because there's that, he can't move and he can't spit out the rock. 
so he just kind of muffled. Ignore my friend. He's dragonborn. Uh, you can understand his dragonborn aggravation. Where? No, we are friends, and we are helping you with your Owied ship. Now listen, please. Dragonborn, not friend. Dragonborn must die. He draws his axe. But he still can't find them because find he's pinned under a giant rock. <laughs> Hang on, guys. I'm having a bad connection. I'll break it out. It's not your... Oh. Okay. Just to refresh um, the page real quick if that ever happens. That tends to fix it. Okay, so. Y'all are missing your windstone, correct? He looks at you and he says, Yes, we are missing our, uh. He thinks about it for a moment. Windstone. Kind of clear he's not that great at speaking common, but he can. He says, uh. He looks at you and he says, A mean lady took it. Vespers looks innocent and says, you know I did not take it. <laughs> he looks to you and he says, mm, Not you, uh, green, green mean lady. But she not us either. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm not green. Says a, you know, orc though. She's called a sea hag. We encountered her before. He said, uh, green. We actually just recently. Blue. Oh, green? Oh, shit. Well, You're keen, we I'm know... <laughs> yeah. Um, we know the mean lady talking about. We're actually after her ourselves. She took our windstone as well. So, do you have magic spells that you had yes. He looks to you guys. He says, "A half ship. Ours is broken. Protected in the human kingdom. Yes. Do Do you have extra ship? I might." There's a tribe not too far from here. They're called the Wind Snakes. Ever ran across them? Uh, no. Uh, he looks around and says, "We, we got here." Counts on his hand, which only has a uh, three fingers. He looks at his hand. Three days ago. And said again, he broke up. Uh, he three days ago. Uh, oh, is... he says we got here three days ago. Uh, this is the first time somebody's walked into our, our cave. So, friend, it's no choice. Hang on, you're cutting out. What'd you say? I said, we are sorry about your ogre friend. He kind of gave us no choice. Uh, he looks to you and he says, Orug, uh, Orug defends us. Killed him. He was just mm -hmm. sleeping. He was trying to kill us. We were just looking for you guys. Exactly. You were looking for us. He protect us. As first stomps her foot. You are misunderstanding intentionally. I swear to God, you are misunderstanding intentionally. Let him finish speaking. Morgan, carry on. <laughs> I know about Captain Garrock. We're looking to make a deal to get our windstones back. 
as a our captain is a not seeing anyone at the moment. Scary things are happening. Can you help us get our friend out of this rock? We can talk some more. Uh, Vespers looks at Morgan like he's lost his freaking mind. <laughs> I sent her a message. I can try and control him. He says, message he him back a... and say, It's on you. He says, uh, I'll help you move, I'll help you move Boulder, but only if you let me kill Dragonborn Friend wherever he is. Dragonborn Friend is outside. Uh, this is Lizard Man. He's stupider than Dragonborn. He does most of our lifting. R roll but... deception. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna hold on to my necklace. I need that D4. <laughs> That is a 14. He just looks at you blankly and he says, Dragonborn are lizard men. <laughs> he can't tell the difference. <clears throat> Let's forget the man in the rock for a minute. Vesper stomps her foot again. Pay attention. We are here to help you with your ship and your stone thingy and just... Let us help you. We need new ship and new stone. Do you have Ivor? Morgan? You're pirates, right? Uh, he looks to you and he says, Uh, yes, I hope so. You've stormed ships before, right? Yes. So, if I can get you a ship and a windstone, you could take whatever big ship you want, right? Make a persuasion check. So, 12, 15, 16. You, you see, he watches his eyes widen and he, like, clasps his hands over his head and he says, That? Genius. But where is New Stone? Hmm? He broke up again. Uh, he said, That is genius. But he mispronounces it and so it sounds more like Guinness. No. <laughs> Where is Mean Lady? Stone? Mean Lady has stone. Tribe in claws, and I point in the general direction where the claws is at. Yeah. Have small ships. Make a make a history check on that. Oh no, I'm lying my ass off. I have okay, no idea. Okay. Um, yeah, no, I'm lying my ass off. I have absolutely no idea. All right. Uh, <laughs> I mean, if you want to, you can just see if they do or not. Okay. Uh, history. Twenty-six. Twenty-six. They do not have any ships of any kind. I'm lying my ass off. <laughs> maybe like a at most like maybe a couple canoes they use for fishing in like a lake or something. Like... Then, then, then technically tomato, I'm not wrong. You say tomato, it's still a ship. <laughs> a canoe can still swim. Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever taken a canoe? We didn't say how ship? many could fit on it. Yeah. We didn't say it was a large ship. Okay. Well, you're so lucky this guy's just an orc and he's not able to comprehend that. <laughs> so. Mm. Help me get my friend out. And we can work out deal. But I need my friend to help you get the stone back. 
of a best friend of a, a dragonborn? Yeah. I'm going to have him make a wisdom save. Actually, I'm going to let... He's going to move the rock. He'll make a strength check. Who needs to make a so, so throw? Uh, he's make, the orc is making a strength check. Hmm. Does not make that. <laughs> he starts okay, pushing stuck. and he's not able to get it. Can I help him? Uh, I, I also have another orc friend of his coming to help. That's good, because I don't have any strength, so... With the aid of his pal, he's able to push Farrakh over, and now they're both going to make a wisdom saving throw to see what they do about Gesh. Here, I'll just do one saving throw that represents both of them. It's just a straight d20. Over 10, they will attack Gesh. Under 10, they will not. They do not attack okay. Gesh on sight. Excellent. So There's a... Hey, where is Dragonborn? And they seem very confused for a second. Gesh just Gesh. tears the rock out of his mouth. Ah! And just yells. They, uh, they just look at you um, both and they you both Sorry shout. about that. They both shout, ah! Back at you. I'm going to whisper to Gesh. Trust me. Follow my lead. Gesh takes a deep, very deep breath. <sighs> but doesn't move and just stands there, okay. glaring at the orcs. I'm going. You're also incredibly Gosh. injured right now. You have also incredibly injured. <laughs> yeah, you have broken. You have like a, a fractured. I'll, I'll say it. You have like a fractured chin. You have multiple mm. broken limbs. I'm, like I'm, you can move, but that's about it. Vespers going... whispers to ja uh to Gash, you have a healing potion. I'm actually gonna hand him two. I want him to drink those. Yeah, I'm just gonna chug. I'll chug both of those pretty quickly. What is that? One d four for each one. Uh, it's two d four for each one. Oh. Two four plus two. Four d four. It's four total. Yeah, you can just do forty four plus. Two. Yeah. Thirteen. I'll take it. Take what I can get. Your uh. Okay. Your broken bones begin to snap back into place. Your uh, your bruise is kind of set, still kind of banged up and sore. But you're you're as close as you're gonna get for a while. Just sort of cracks his neck. Oh, breaks. That's better. I'm going to motion at the orc and kind of point towards his other friends over over here, and so like, let's sit and talk. Plan our plan of attack. Alright, we will go get a. We'll try to go get a. And they, uh. You guys all come over here. Stay here. Guard. Well, two more. Anything you'd like to do at this time? I'm going Gesh to is say, gonna kind of. I want to set a quick timer, real quick. About a. I'll set a, a five-minute timer. And if there's anything you guys want to do, you gotta do it in under five minutes. I guess <laughs> gonna walk back to the entrance here and just kind of warily look around. <sighs> I'm trusting you, Morgan. Um, 
Would I have time to cast Comprehend Language before they get back? I'll say... Okay. I'll go ahead and cast that while we take our break. That way, I can listen in on stuff. Actually, yeah, we will take an actual break here. Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright. So, we could, could we all be back here maybe 4.45? Sound good? Oh, yeah. I can actually do Comprehend Languages as well as a ritual. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm doing it as a ritual. I'll, I'll say if you both do it as a ritual... Um, like you both cooperate on it, then you could get it done in about 10 minutes. Excellent. High fives! Woo! Woo! Alright, we'll be back here at 4.45. Alright. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. The DM said we had an extra rest, so you get to have health back for that, and also the extra bard rest for 1d6. So oh! A d8. I played a little while, uh, well, she sung a little bit while doing the ritual. I'll just take the, uh, oh, wow. She was doing her ritual, she was singing, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. attached <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Everybody ready? Ready, ready, ready. Yep. As you guys, uh, as you guys, uh, start noticing steps, ground shakes a little. Nine foot tall, old, large halberd comes into view. The orcs that went there. Oh. There's a dragonborn here. Why isn't he dead at my feet, boys? Uh, the one. Ah, they couldn't kill me. The one with Vespers. Talk to comes up and he says, "Well, uh, lady said we were friends." Dark, that uh, gore. Just I look. I look. Uh, talk later. Just. Vesper steps forward. Excuse me, sir. We we are here to help you. Gesh backs away from the big guy. How so? Vesh sends a quick message to Morgan. Thanks. Come over here. I know what I'm doing. She backs up a little bit to join her companions and waves at all of us and says, We figured out your problem with your ship and how to replace it because we are helpful people and we just want to be friends. Mark just looks at you. Says, Jesus. Really? Unlike, uh, unlike my voice here, I've actually got some intelligence. One of them seems. Kind of a thing. <laughs> I'm gonna basically. <clears throat> so, comprehend languages doesn't let me speak their language, only understand, right? Yeah. No, I, I, I say it lets you speak. Just because. Okay. Um, so, I basically. Look. You, your people, and my people are after the exact same thing. Why shouldn't I kill you, you to make it? You kill me and I don't have it. But I know who does. And I can guarantee you they are very powerful sorcerers. If they were able to destroy your ship with just one, imagine what three of them together can do. Didn't destroy my ship. They got the wind. The storm scares me. He does not. So what destroyed your ship? Took out the windstone. It couldn't stand up against a wailing storm. 
he just escapes. Technically, <laughs> he destroyed my ship. But I'm not afraid to fight her. Killed hundreds of his kind. Ocean Storm. Gesh just snarls. And I place my hand on Gesh's shoulder just to. It's okay, buddy. Um. You want to get out of this land. We want to get out of this land. You want a ship. You want your windstone back. But you're also going to be facing the oncoming ar human armies who are going to find out why their silver mine just dried up. You're powerful. I won't doubt that. But brute strength's not going to get you very far. Roll persuasion. And because he has some semblance of a brain, I'm going to allow him to roll his <laughs> Oh, he does not have a oh. brain. He just thinks he's smart. <laughs> I mean, he's got an intelligence of wisdoms are active. There. Anyway, he looks to you and he says, All "Right, fine. But how do I know you're not with those armies? Because my men and I." Can and then I, Vesper sp sp speaks up because she can talk in their language as well and says. We stopped fighting you, didn't we? Would we have stopped fighting you if we were th with those armies, or would we have just brought them with us so that we could slaughter you all and be done with it? Stopped after your dragonborn here got pinned under a rock. That's what I was told. On our way. We <laughs> tripped. It happens. We've all had klutzy moments. Says, uh, looks to you all and he says, He didn't attack you, did he? No. That's because I was in the other part of a cave. I'm pretty he sure. He didn't attack your friends, did he? From what I understand, he did. Motions to where. After we made peace, Vesper stamps her foot. Pay attention. After we made me, girl, I'll decapitate you right here and now. Feed your head to my dogs. Oof. Oof, all you like. This blade of mine has seen thousands of heads. I could just add you to the list. And that. Orcs around him are getting very tense because they're not sure what's about to happen. I whisper over to um, Vespers and it's like, I could use some of that bardic inspiration right about now. Just plays a song in the middle of a fucking conversation. <laughs> <laughs> um, I will message back. I hate fighting with stupid people. I'm ready to just kill them. But inspired you are. Okay. I am going to cast sleep right on top of him. All of his people are within 20 feet. All right, so he, and I'm going he, to do uh, so. The first one you're casting it on? No, I'm, tr I'm trying to hit the people around him. Not, I'm not trying to hit him, I'm trying to hit his men. Okay, so how sleep works is that uh, wherever you put it, it goes for the people that are in the closest area, and then whatever you roll, it takes out that many hit points. So say you roll like a, a 30, and say, for example, these orcs had 15 health each, you would be able to sleep these two, but it wouldn't carry over into this one. Vice versa, like, they were all like just right here. 
you would only get two of them. Because they are saying they mm. had 15 All right. Um, then I will... Unless you reduced for health to a certain amount. Because like, you could also cast sleep and say Dash manages to get a few hits on uh, Gark if you guys decided to fight. His hit points went below that amount, then he would fall asleep. So. Hold, hold on. Morgan, I'm sending you a whisper. Okay. <laughs> Do it. What's happening? How do you? What was the command to whisper back? Backslash whisper and then start typing vespers. It'll pop up. No, you don't have to. I'm not going to actively work against your friends. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just a habit. I'm sorry. Okay, so anyhow, um, Morgan, I have I have thunderclap, but it's only a five foot radius. All right, I will cast sleep at the guards behind him. And here's the fun part. And whatever rule you want me to have to do, I'm gonna cast guidance on myself first. I'm gonna try to do this. Without him realizing that they're asleep. Ooh. I'm going to try to knock them out without him realizing. Because his back's turned to him. Alright, I'm going to have you roll sleight of hand. <clears throat> okay, sleight of hand. Come on, good roll. Come on, good roll. Okay. 14. Yes. One. 14 plus 4. four. 18. 18. Alright, I'll All right. roll it against his, uh... Well, hang on, he's not... Ne yeah, he's watching you. I'll have him roll perception. Oh! oh. Damn it! God! Uh, so he sees me doing something. You, yeah, he, see, he sees you casting it, but you still get it off. Alright. Alright, how many hit points are expected? 26? 26 plus the... I get a 1d6 from her bardic inspiration. So, 30. 30. Both of them go to sleep, but he inst says, uh, he looks ar he it takes him a second, but then he, he hears the guard's bodies drop behind him, and he says, Ben, it's a trap! Attack! Attack! Roll initiative. Roll initiative, yep. Alright. Actually, hang on, let me, let me click my icon. Oh my gosh! The king of initiative. Mm -hmm. Okay, there we go. Ooh! Oh yeah! We got a nat 20 and a nat 1. Morgan, uh, Vespers roll a d100. Morgan goes first. Okay, yeah, you're good. You just go. <laughs> Add a turn. Dark. <coughs> and I'm gonna roll separately for his orc. There, a 15. Dark. Okay, there we go. All right, Morgan. All right. Um. <clears throat> shit. Give me a sec. I gotta do some calculations here. <laughs> All 
I better switch to non creepy so they can go to combat. <laughs> okay. Oh, that was one. I'm going so, I'm going to cast sleep a second time to try to hit Ooh. these two. All right. I'm going to try to knock these two out. I know I'm not going to get him, but I'm going to try to knock these last two out. Okay. Let's sleep. And screw having to do sleight of hand, because I'm doing it on this all deliberately. <laughs> Oh! Mm. Nat 22. Do I get to roll double? I'm just gonna say for what you're trying to do, that dare just both to sleep. Excellent! And I'm going to take... I'm going to... Back up... Um... That way it'll give me, um... Give me, give me some distance, and I'm gonna yell out to Gesh. Told you you could trust me. Yes. Now uh, Gark's turn. He yells, mm -hmm. "You magic bastard!" As I'm gonna check his move. <laughs> I wanna roll a <sighs> between the Dragonborn and the Caster because those are his two the targets he'd hate the most. <laughs> hey, Morgan. Mm. Charges to the caster, getting right about here. After, uh, he passed like this, so he not get opportunity. Uh. Um, and he is going to take a. If you let me think, exactly what I want to do. <laughs> Pulls out the card. <laughs> And yep, I take a swing at you. That hit eighteen. That hits. And then he's going to take, going to use his bonus action to pull our master feet. Oh, him too. Yeah. Fifteen yeah. hits. All right, I'll roll the first one. Fourteen damage. Oh Lord Jesus! Ugh. I'm down. Ah, uh, Gesh, you better not waste. I got that you, thing buddy. I just gave you, son of a bitch. Fourteen. Uh, the orcs are asleep, luckily. So Gart comes up, flashes across your chest, cutting open some of your robes, not your cloak, though. And as he's slashing, he stops mid slash and then takes the butt of his halberd and just slams you in it, knocking you unconscious. Yep. <laughs> it is now mm. Gesh's turn. Fuck yeah. I'm coming right up here. I mean, there is no questions. It's Glee. Uh, I'll say uh, if you get into a certain position. I'm letting you guys know that flanking is a thing I'm doing. Oh, shit. Um, so if you get, like, on the opposite... Just for future reference, like, if you got right there, uh, I'd give you a, a plus one to attack and damage. Oh, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. And uh, for rogues, it would get you sneak attack, but... <laughs> no rogues here. No rogues. Alright, but yeah, 20 hits. Go ahead and roll damage. Nice. Nice. Thirteen. Thank you. Okay. And then my bonus action. Yeah. Can't forget. Alright, because I also have the polearm master feet. Which means I roll to attack again. Fifteen. Does not hit. Ah, oh, god damn it. I'll go ahead. I had his AC and health friend down wrong, so I just had to correct it. Alright. But 15 still does not hit. Oh, oh well. I tried. Uh, so you take your... What are you, what are you using right now, Glaive? You take your Glaive. Glaive, and you slash it across the back of his neck, not doing 
much internal damage, but definitely getting his attention. Enough where when you swing to hit it with the back of your glaive, he's able to block it with his arm. He's good. That's where it's your turn. All right, I am going to start by um, casting Healing Word on our downed companion. Excellent. That is a bonus action, I believe. Um. Uh, is it? <laughs> healing Word's a bonus action. Oh, cool. I had it in as an action. Oh, it is a bonus action. Well, damn. Okay. Well, anyhow, I did that. You're not the only one who plays for it. Alright. Morgan, you get a plus eight. Woohoo! <laughs> Yeah, I'll say you, uh, because it didn't go negative, you get back up. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna come over... Hmm, I'm thinking. Decisions, decisions. Yeah, I'm gonna come over and hit him with my rapier. You are also flanking at the moment because you're all free surrounding him. This so to be 16. Hit, but you get a plus one because you're flanking, and a 16, yeah. 16 barely hit. Yay! I'll take it! <laughs> uh, whenever you're flanking, you get a plus one to hit and damage. Just how I do that. Nice and simple. I'm done damage. Hold on. That is uh, Nicodemus meowing randomly. <laughs> yeah, that is what I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, I have pets too. Have a lot. Ten damage. Ooh. As he's distracted by Morgan suddenly getting up from what he thought was a almost lethal blow, come in and you manage to find a chink in his armor, take out your rapier, and ding goes right through, and as you pull it out you see some blood on the tip of your rapier. And I say as I'm doing the thrust, you should have listened. Now we just have to kill you. And turn to Gesh. You were right. Now Morgan's turn. Yeah, I would. What would you like to do, Morgan? Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to get up, get to my feet. I'm going to look him dead in the eyes with, like, a burning fury, because I'm tired of getting knocked to the ground. <laughs> Every time. And, yeah, well, you're one to talk. <laughs> <laughs> and, like, I summon arcane energy within me, and I point out, actually, hold on, whoa, 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 whoa. Where did it go, where did it go? Yes. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a, that's a good name, the Down Buddies. Um, I start to swell with um, Divine Arcana as a little symbol on my necklace begins to glow. I point my finger at him and I just say one word. Stop! Gotta make a DC 17 wisdom save. Oh! Yeah! Yeah! He instantly just stops in his tracks. Just com like completely stopping. <laughs> it is now his turn, and he's gonna try to make a wisdom saving throw to get out of that. Nope. Yeah! Gash's turn. As soon as he attacks, the command wears off, I think. Uh, let me, let me double check. The... As soon as I attack? As soon as he is attacked. I believe. Oh, he is attacked, uh, so yeah. Let's see here. But, um, if that's, if that is the case, I will give you advantage on, advantage on the attack because he just stopped cold. He's not trying to block it. Ooh, yeah. Alright. I'm going for it. Gesh is like, I'm all over this. Fuck yes! 
23. Don't even eat it. Alright, roll damage. Oh, and then I'm gonna do my bonus action again anyway, so I might as well that roll for it right now. With, that also comes with advantage. Tight. Yeah, whenever it's like multi-attacks, I just roll it all at once. I get to roll again for advantage, right? Yeah. Yeah. You also have plus seven to hit with that as well. Alright, so the bonus just straight up doesn't, but that's okay. Uh, the bonus action hits. It's plus seven. Oh, it does? Yeah, you add Oh my- Oh yeah, I didn't add any bonuses to it, that's right, so yes, it does. Okay, 19 hits. 19 hits. Tight, tight, tight. perfect. This one earlier would have hit them too with the bonus. Yeah. I forget to add them, that's alright. Alright, so 15 plus... D4... Come on, four, one. All right, sixteen damage. Uh, you also add your strength mod to damage for both of those. Oh yes, so that it's already added to the fifteen, but that's another plus four. That makes it five, so twenty damage total. And as he stops, just take the glaive. Try plus, yeah, plus four. And manages to kind of gain control of himself for a second. He tries to dodge. But he still stabs straight through his armor and into the so uh, his left rib. Because it's now Vesper's turn. How does that taste? Vesper's is going to um, attack with the rapier. <laughs> You're going to attack with a what? My rapier again. Alright. Edit. <laughs> Do I still need to do the advantage? <laughs> I mean, you Probably can not. just to see if you can get a crit. Oh. Yeah, crit one nice. Nah. Okay. And I'd already rolled the damage. I changed the settings so it would do that, so it's four. Alright. Well, Morgan's turn, unless you want to do anything else. Um, I want to give Morgan another inspiration. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna use it. Um, how is he looking right now? He's looking fairly worn down, but he could definitely continue to fight. He's okay, um... So... Oh, wait, I want you guys to note, he is using the halberd with one hand, as he has a, a shield on his left arm. <laughs> wow. I am impressed. So he has a, a metal shield? Uh, his shield is wooden, but his halberd is metal. Yeah. In fact, uh, make a perception check. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. Um, so... <clears throat> I'm going to... Since I'm this close in... I'm going to f send in Nicodemus to kind of flap in a space right. to distract him, use the help feature, which, if I remember, gives me advantage, I think. Right. Yes, so I get advantage. Um, and I am going to grab hold of the wound that Gesh just caused on him. Ooh. And I'm going to cast Shocking... Oh, wrong button. Shocking Grasp. Ooh. Wrong button! <laughs> he is in fact wearing metal armor. Oh, yeah! <laughs> yeah, that, that is. Okay. 12 lightning. Was there any bonus damage for being a metal weapon? Uh, or what was it? Oh, I can't remember. Okay. No, just uh... a... Yeah, advantage in the attack roll if a target is wearing armor made of metal. Uh oh. Uh, okay. You can go ahead so and roll advantage to see if you get a crit. Okay. Uh... Nah. So he takes 12 lightning damage. 
And then Nicodemus will flutter back out of his reach. Um, so as you grab the wound and you just, the lightning travels from your amulet down your, uh, are you right-handed or left-handed? Uh, I'm, I'm right-handed, but in this situation, whatever, whatever I can grab him with, I'm gonna grab him. Um, it, the amulet goes, uh, down your right arm, like lightning comes from my right arm, as you touch the wound, burn blood out onto your arm, and like on your robes and your exposed chest from where he cut through your And uh, it is now his turn, He's no longer under view. And hear him you see some kind of stagger, and then as a bonus action, he whistles, and you hear howling from the other side of the cave. Then as an action, as you're all attacking him, takes a, watch him take out this rather large uh, bottle, uncorks it. Drains it. <laughs> He's gonna get some health back. Ah, shit. <clears throat> get seven health back. <laughs> and you guys watch as a uh, seems to grow in size even more. And uh, his eyes start glowing a bright red as instead of being eight feet tall. Well, instead of being nine feet tall, he has grown almost half a foot. And his muscles are, like, rippling through his armor. That's his turn. Gash, it is now your turn. Alright. Come on, Gash, come on! <laughs> the tried and true method. 13 does not Ooh, doesn't hit. That's unfortunate. You guys watch as Gesh swings the glaive with all of his might, and it hits exposed flesh, but doesn't go through. Because his muscles are overpowering the glaive. <laughs> Damn! You can still swing as a bonus action. If you wish. Oh, say that again? You can still use your bonus action to attack with a pole. Oh, yeah, we might as well do that, shouldn't we? Plus. That one! Roll a d100. Fuck. My bad, I shouldn't have suggested it. Didn't mean to jinx you like that. <laughs> oh, God. God damn it! Okay, I have to think here. As you take the back end of the glaive, and you try to drive it through his armor, then just flexes his muscles so much. You got a 97. Yes, you got a 97. Yeah. Half of your glaive breaks as he puts ah! his muscles against his armor. No! He breaks it in half. My son. My sweet, sweet weapon. Now Vesper's turn. Oh lord. Um, Vesper's is gonna. Oh, sh 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 um, she's gonna try to hit him with her rapier again. All right. Does not hit. Once again, you try to pierce through, like, this thick sinew that's become his muscles and skin, but you're thrust with all of your might, and your blade just kind of stays there. And, uh, He's turned away from me, though, right? Yes. Yeah, what direction is he facing? Uh, he is facing towards the... He's currently, currently facing towards Morgan, so he's to both of your backs. Okay, 
I want to, as my movement, dive into the back of his knees and try to take him to the ground. Take an athletics I suck at athletics. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. Believe in yourself. You better kill him! And I dive. Uh, let me think. Uh. He's going to roll athletics against that. <laughs> 18. I was gonna say, hey, why don't I let Gesh roll for him? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, he gets an 18, so Vesper's goes to try to drop kick his leg, and his leg just stays there completely unaffected. Kind of and she's like, uh... Like, he turns to look at you for a second, then just looks back towards more Gesh. Kind of switching his... Apparently I'm a gnat. <laughs> now Morgan's turn. Okay. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to. If I distract him with Nicodemus, could I step out of his range and not provoke an attack, or no? Uh, you would provoke an attack, but with disadvantage. Hmm. Shit, shit, shit. I will... Yeah. When he turns to look at Vesper, I shoot Nicodemus into his face again. And I'm going to step back against the wall. Uh, notice, right you, could, you could five-foot step. Remember that. Wait, did you use oh, I'm, I'm, I'm needing... I like I'm, I'm needing you. distance. Okay. Um... So go ahead and see what, see what he rolls on that. Where's the first one? Woo! Disadvantage. Save me. Disadvantage. Ah, sh yep. 12 damage. Twelve where am I at? Shit! Oh no, don't tell me. I'm down again. Son of a bitch. Oh As a uh, Morgan tries to as Nicodemus gets in dark space, Morgan tries to jump out of a way, but with incredible speed, Dark manages to lock onto him. He swings once, Morgan gets out of a way, but the backswing catches him and trips him down, and he, as he's running, he falls and rolls over to the ground, unconscious. It is now Gark's Shit. turn. I'm gonna take a swing at... I wanna roll a d2. AKA flip a coin. I'm gonna hit Vespers. Ooh! Sixteen. That hit. Uh, yeah, that is a hit. Fourteen damage. And as he he turns, sees Vespers on the ground, takes his glaive, and just, as she's getting up, brings it down, leaving a large cut on her shoulder. And he Ooh. just kind of rips it out. Just kind of smiles. How's that for snark? I'm still up. <sighs> well, yeah, on the ground, but I'm still up. Yeah. <laughs> okay. What to do? Yeah, I don't have a weapon. But. You have half of your glaive. I have half of my glaive. Um. I'm gonna take a, a a step here, just a five foot side step right there, yeah. and then I'm gonna use my breath weapon. 
Would that hit best first? Ah. Uh... I'm gonna leave that up to you. I'm gonna say I I try to aim it in such a way that it I breathe so that I I hit him, but I keep most of the flames away from her. I okay, think. Okay. So I, the way this cone is working out, it kind of barely crosses her square. Yeah. So but, just but a for, glance. For the sake of uh, I think for now I'm just gonna say if it's on the square adjacent, this applies to enemies, but if it's on the like, on the square diagonal from your breath weapon, that does not hit. But if she was, like, right... If she was, like, right here, it would hit her. That would hit. Yeah, but this does not. Tight. Alright. So you turn with the fire breath, and you watch as, a His armor and his skin kind of catch on fire. And it appears to do quite a bit more damage. Than you expected it. As he screams in agony, as his friend is now roasting. Ha <laughs> ha Suck it! Is now Ven and Vesper there. starts screaming and screaming and screaming <laughs> and screaming some more, and her eyes are like saucers in her head. <laughs> <laughs> it is now your turn, Vespers. Still screaming, she takes her rapier and thrusts with all her might. Alright. Oh, Ooh. she sucks. Wow! Okay, the, the name of this uh, of this channel is Natural One. W-O-N, not Natural One, the dice ball. That is the actual <laughs> name of the channel, by the way. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Alright. Right. Apparently, Vespers is an amazing fighter, but when her shoulder's half out, she doesn't hit as well. Vespers, <laughs> still under the shock of actually almost dying. Just and the fire! Don't forget the fire! And the fire. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh, Burger. yeah, shit. Shit, 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 shit. I forgot about that. <laughs> yeah. That's why she was screaming. Yeah. And her eyes were saucers. <laughs> Ooh, she doesn't like it. Yeah, she's screams and just wildly throws out her sword, halfway attacking the fire, halfway attacking the orc, <laughs> but wildly misses. It's, uh, like, she kind of clangs it against the guy's armor and just, like, kind of gets down on her knees and continues to scream. Pops oh, is on the floor in a whimper. No, uh, her and make it a saving. Alright, you make it. Oh, it's one. Mark's turn. He's gonna shoot at the man who just turned to bacon. <laughs> Fair. 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 21. Yeah. 21 is a definite hit. Sorry, your your choice, Mr. DM Dude, but uh, as a bonus action, I was going to do a bardic inspiration on. Gosh. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I skipped over you. Alright. No, All that's right. okay. I was in the middle of a panic attack, so we're good. <laughs> you can do it. You can. As she screw me to this. You can kill him, him and put the fire <laughs> out. Put the fire. That's that's I love the fire. <laughs> All right. But uh, that happens. Now it is Gesh's turn. All right. So on my attacks with my glaive now. What are, since it's only half a glaive, how should I proceed? I'll say how much damage does it do? I don't think you just can't do the bonus action. Since yeah, you broke the back end of it. Thinking, since you don't have the back end, you can't use your polar master feet. You're basically just swinging a weird axe at the moment. <laughs> okay, so like damage and everything is gonna be the same. Yeah, just no no uh, hitting him with a butt. Okay. So I am going to attack with my glaive. Really? Ah. <laughs> okay. No, Bardic Inspiration, doesn't that help some? Uh, it doesn't uh, help yeah. that one. Doesn't help that one. <laughs> um, Alright, I'm gonna... I will let you, if you have to, I will let, I will let you track from... <laughs> okay. We're gonna roll the D100 first. 45. You don't need to. 
Okay. And then I'm gonna use action surge to attack again. Alright. <laughs> Let's not roll a one this time. Come on! Oh wait, Bardic Inspiration, right? Can I use that? Yep. What is that, a, a D6? Yep. Yeah. Yes! 17. Mmm. Oh, yes. Thank God. <coughs> 14, 14 damage. As you come in with your first strike and you just miss him entirely, he takes it, just takes a minute to grin. Bug man. But a stamina bursts through your veins. As soon as your blade misses, taking him for a stab, that same wound you created earlier. Hitting him, and he screams in pain once again. As his <laughs> yes, Bruce, what would you like to do? How shall she proceed? Oh god, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I'm gonna give um, my last bardic inspiration to Gash. Right. Um, dead. And I am going to... How, what is this guy looking like at this point? He's looking pretty rough. He's roasted, he's... <laughs> roasted. Is he taking Is he taking active fire damage because of fire? Yeah, I'll say he is. I'll roll, a, I'll roll a d4 for fire damage. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, um, Actually, so I'm gonna... That is a... Make a perception check, both of you, before I tell you the following information. Uh, he is taking double God. damage from fire. Ooh. <laughs> God, if only I could breathe twice. Okay, well, that's like uh, you know that that potion he had, um, it increased his strength to, but and it also healed him a bit, uh, but for the sake of taking us to fire. Okay, well, I'm gonna do the only thing I can do. Um, I'm gonna actually use my. Is it half of my movement? How much of my movement would it be to actually stand back up? Because I had been knocked down. Uh, I, I just said that for flavor. You're not actually prone. Okay, cool. Like, so, um... Crouching to... <laughs> Yay! Alright, I'm gonna hit him <laughs> with my rapier. and I'm gonna actually hit him this time. That's my thing. <laughs> <laughs> or not. I don't know. <laughs> you know, it was optional. Yeah, that was an optional attack. Apparently. Um, so, at this point, I am, is he, he's, he gets an attack of opportunity if I try to move though, right? Uh, you could use all of your all movement of to make a five foot step that does not provoke an attack of opportunity. So you just move five feet in a new direction. I'm moving there. Morgan, unless there's anything else you want to <laughs> No, I have nothing else I can do. Nice. <laughs> How many is that now? Is that two out of three? That's two out of three, yeah. Right. I'll say... We'll make another constitution check to see if you're able to get back up and do on this turn. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Morgan manages to pull himself back up, and he is able. You're not able to do your bonus action or your movement. Hold my. F I get up. Or I'm, I'm. Yeah, I'm not even off the ground. I'm. I'm just kind of like leaning myself up off the ground. I look. I see the situation. Hold out my finger. Your 
finger forms into a gun. <laughs> However, it does not hit. Oh! Flying right past him. Shit! Wait, you have an and Vespers is crouching on the floor again. <laughs> yeah, you oh, he does! Yeah. You still have an inspiration. Do what? You still have an inspiration you haven't used. I do inspired! Gash yeah, yells. Do the thing! 1d6. So, 40, 15. I'll save that mm -mm. hit for flavor. Mm -hmm. Yes. Excellent. 15 fire damage? The 15 fire damage. Now. How do you want to do this? As you just did 30 damage. Huh? How do you want to do this? Oh, yeah! Just did 30 damage I... to a man with 12 health left. <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm basically wanting to focus that and go shh, because his his armor's damaged, right? Oh yeah. I want to focus that. Where where was his wound again? Is it because he's facing like, Gesh? It's like his left rib, so you're just right behind him. He doesn't even know you're up yet. I want to focus that shot to go straight through his chest and out the other side. Well, so I it would. Like... I got continue. Yeah, it it would shoot past my teammates, but it it would just boom. Yeah, she watch as a organ man just barely get back up, holding onto a wall behind him. He turns his fingers into that of a gun. And you see him pouring all of his magic power into this fireball, forming at the tip of his fingers. Fires it, his hand flying back, pushing himself into a wall at the force of a shot. As it goes through Gark's wound, and you see Gark, his eyes go blank as the fire spreads throughout his body. And then all of it just cultivates in a blast, but fires out of him, sending a giant fireball going this way through his now completely furred body as he is just dead, falling down to the ground, just a burnt Yes! Guess roars in excitement. We're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> uh, actually, everybody else is asleep. So what do you guys We're want good. To We're so good. If you have potions, drink them now. I'm gonna drink my last health potion. I used my two on that one. Points to Gush. It was... You guys hear wolves howling in the distance. You hear them slowly leave as you see a warg dead and master dead burning fire everywhere and running. Also, by the way, this tent right here is on fire. Ah, uh, nice. Alright. So, what what did you guys decide to do? For uh, stab them peacefully in the throat to kill them all off, like we did the. Guards. Oh yeah. Let's go. So they're all they're all they're, they're just. <laughs> they did. <laughs> And, uh, <coughs> all of them were wearing, a uh, jail mail. Uh, the normal orcs had about 10 gold apiece. So that's 40 gold. Dark is wearing, a uh, plate armor. Uh, well, Gash. armor. <gasps> but it also oh. has a giant hole in it. It is super damaged, though. It's I'm gonna take- can I, can I, like... Medium, I should say. It's actually medium? Yeah, half That's true. Hmm. You could take that. that uh, silver halberd. That now that you guys are able to get a look at, it's actually coated completely. I take that. That's mine. I claim it. Alright. I low-key need it. Yes, you, you did break your weapon. I think you should have it. 
get a plus hey. one silver halberd. Plus, plus one, one silver halberd. I like that. Does he have any more of the groovy potions? Because I'd really like a potion. Uh, I was going to get to that, yes. Um, you guys see a, a note and three potions. As you uh, pop up, like as you pop open, I comprehend languages going. Yeah. So it says uh, in Orcish. Or, uh, these are main Jakon for becoming for becoming attack. This is a. They said what? This is these were made in Jakon for a planned attack. <gasps> what? Ocean of a uh, ogre strength. It gives you plus two to your strength score, and heals you for uh, D twelve. At the cost of you are vulnerable to fire, like an ogre. Give that to Gash, unless Vesper wants it. No, I don't. No. <laughs> Gash, also, uh, take it. You guys are also uh, lucky enough to find a uh, surrounding tent. You guys find uh, various bottles of alcohol. Vesper will take one of those, though. <laughs> All right. Um, Gash. Yeah. You can take everything you find, but I call the head. Deal's a deal. I'll take you it up. You can have the head, but I owe him a little. Can I cut it? Can I cut it? <laughs> I don't care how it comes off. But we need to get back. I'm, I'm going to take my rapier and just hack at his head. It might not come off pretty, but I'm going to hack until it's good. Because my shoulder really hurts and I don't have any healing potions. Make a, make a strength check to be with advantage. With advantage, <laughs> with advantage? Uh, good. Uh, he's, he's, he's not actively trying to resist this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he might be. 13. I'll say after just a couple, like about four or five just big swings, you manage to drop through his head. Kind of Sweet. And as I'm doing it, I'm going to say, stupid fucking fires. <laughs> so I'll take the, the hint. The tent behind you is still on fire, by the way. <laughs> I'm ignoring it because I hurt. Take the head and I take the note. Um, I guess we'll divide the, uh, the gold among us. But let's get the fuck out of here. Okay, no, no, no more fires, okay? Are you afraid of fires? Isn't everyone? I, I, Vesper is not afraid of anything. She is, no, I am not afraid of fires. It's just stupid and we don't like them. Let's go now. Well, you're and traveling. Walks clear over here away from the tent that's on fire. Uh, your keen <laughs> mind does in fact tell you something. You were asked to clear out huh? the orcs. I'm not sure if this is all of them or not. Oh uh, yeah, he did say there was. That's why I have I have the head. I I, I have a plan just in case. All right, let's try to get out of here as quickly as okay. we can. I'm gonna stealth again. Or attempt to. Uh, your job was to uh, kill all of the orcs. Oh shit. You would still get the bounty. We absolutely need to kill every last orc. We okay. absolutely have to rest up before we do. We barely made it out of that one alive. I, Fair I, point. I need a nap. Some tents? Inside the enemy caves? Did you not see the wargs that just tried to run around the corner? Mm, that's, that's, tr that's a fair point. I think it needs to be outside the cave, but where we can actually defend against the, you. The tent gets stronger on fire and she kind of moves. <laughs> I think that we need to do it outside the cave and that somebody needs to keep watch to make sure no one leaves. Sounds right. good. Yeah, for right now, that sounds good. I'm going to conf. Uh, 
So. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm good. Uh, we want to take a short rest or a long rest? I'm thinking long. At this point, I think we need like, a long rest. It's like 10 o'clock at night. Yeah, we can camp out. Take a long rest. Okay. Um. Watches. I will take first watch with Nicodemus and cast guidance on myself to make sure. <laughs> okay. um, I'll follow you up after that. Uh, if you guys wanted to, the church is about maybe walk from the. This is this is true. Yeah, let's go back. Let's go to the church. This way. I was going to make sure that they don't leave. No, if they leave, then the mines are clear. And we did our job. Oh, then yes, let's go sleep somewhere warm with. I have my alcohol. I have. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's go. I'm kind of muttering under my breath, but I'm going along with this. Yeah. Yeah, we'll head to the church. You guys eventually do make it. Well, the thing I do. I don't know. Describing the. Um, I'll say it's a short rest on the way there, but that's just for you guys aren't currently dying as you I still see obviously not well, but no, I can't yet. No, I mean, I'm... Oh, there we go, yeah. But, uh... Alright, can you... Espers? Can you see uh, on screen? I should say. Yeah, I can see everything. And, well, you, the circle that you put up now, but... You, uh... You recognize this place, Vespers? For the, uh... Elf priest. Uh, Ooh, my friend lives here. Ooh, not anymore. <laughs> what? You knew the couple that lived here? The guy that that's what I got my name from. He did the the vespers and sang me to awakeness and saved me. He must have been a really kind elf man back then. I walk her over to the little uh, garden area here where I buried them, and I pretty much fill her in on what happened. I do so. You guys get like right here? No, no, no um, where I was, I buried them. Okay. Right there, I buried him right here, okay. but I buried him right there at their house. So go ahead, go, go ahead, ahead, and I can explain everything. Yeah, a couple of nights ago, we came by to visit, and they let us stay to rest up. That night, they were attacked and unfortunately killed. We managed to fend off the, what was it, the soul constructs? Uh, the scarecrows. Yeah, we, we managed to fend off the scarecrows that were animated to fight to kill them. But we weren't able to save them. The most I could do was give them this burial before I left. And I blessed it so that no evil should be able to touch this. At least their burial site again. Um, guess you also notice walking around that it's incredibly clean. There was a lot of, like, 
stuff going on beforehand. Define cleaner. As in, like, all the... Like, well-kept? Like, not... It, everything's just been, like, up. Okay. That was from me, right? Yeah. Uh, or is it cleaner from my perspective too, or is it from what I did? It's from what you did, or you were. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Before we left the other day, before we left the other day, I tended to their bodies and kind of paid my last respects. This home meant everything to them. I didn't want to leave it in shambles. <laughs> Jasper looks at him, her face getting very, almost like she's very angry, like pinched, and she drops to the ground, and as she drops to the ground, um, almost not even realizing that she's done it, she uh, uses her thaumaturgy and the ground starts to shake. Hello now. As a, as a, uh, a few ravens fly off the top. Let me see something. It just is a harmless tremor for one minute. But, uh... <clears throat> I'm just standing there watching. DM question. Could I cast message through Nicod what Nicodemus can see? Or do I have to physically point at the thing? Because the wording says that I don't necessarily... It says as long as I know um, they're there. There's the thing for message. Uh, you saw an object. Huh? You don't have to point your finger if Nicodemus can see. Like okay. I want to send Nick after one of the ravens. I don't want him to attack it. I want him to basically, like, find one and land next to it. Its eyes grow. Flashing. So you said their eyes are green? Okay. Um, I'm going to cast a message to that raven. Right. Hello, beautiful. Raven I have to say, I'm quite impressed with your handiwork. I ran across the pirates you raided. Does that make two windstones you're going after now? I rated. Hey, family's family. You're all working together. That is, I rated. Left. Hmm. Well, I want to meet. Not now. Not near my, uh, companions. Just you and me. I want to have a chat. Oh no. I'm... I'm not suggesting you leave. Tactically, it would be beneficial for me to separate you and kill you one by one, but... For what I'm planning now... I'm going to respect your sense of security. We're heading over to see... 
by myself? No. You proved that the other night. But I do have an entire army at my disposal. your army at? Oh, I'm just... <sighs> I'm trying to find resolution. Roll deception on that. Deception? Alright. And I will do so with my... Because that would be her uh, response either way, but just how she takes Nine and eleven. Yeah. There is a ginormous difference between you can tell. We're we're planning on seeing your boys in the wind snakes soon. I do believe you have the ability to possess one of them. We can talk there. You'll be safe in your tower. Make a, make a persuasion check. Go ahead and add that d4. I know you're going to add. Yeah. 19. 19. Well, the thing ah. holds up both of a win. So, on <laughs> now that I have these, wins, that tribe is slowly one by one wandering. God won't protect them. Holds out a fleshy bag. Opens it. You're going to make a madness check. As you look inside, and you see, like, faces of people similar to the shadows. Hundreds of faces crying out in pain. Madness? Yep. That's uh, wisdom? Sixteen. Uh, you, you're seeing this That's through the, the raven's eyes, but... Yeah. We're able to... Army. What can... Army... Sorry, you broke out some. I have an army. What kind of living? <laughs> you have army of the dead. I have an army. We're still standing at an impasse. You don't want me in your way. I don't want you in mine. What do you need the windstones for? Why should I? Because I'm having a feeling two is not enough, and that you still might need one more. Coven's work in threes, remember? I understand the logic. Quite flaw with it. I only. Hmm. Now I'm going to have some fun. I felt like. It's just the one raven next to him? Uh, yep. Gonna just reach out and electrify that bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna snap my fingers. Br dismiss him just on the offset chance. Okay, we have a problem. 
Speak. Don't hold back now. Well, well, what now? The good news is we don't have to go visit the wind snakes. Oh. The What's bad news. Is that anything about snakes? What is with people and fire and snakes? Oh my god, are you freaking kidding me? I kind of hold my hands out to calm her down. It, it's the name of a tribe of nomadic warriors. Oh, okay. Carry on. The hags have both the windstones. We need to hurry up, clear this shit out, and get back to the city. Okay, but first we need sleep. Yeah. Good night's rest. Absolutely. All right. How do you guys? How would you guys like to do watches? Um, I'm doing the first one with Nick and Guidance. And I'll follow up with that. It's and bef be bef before I go to sleep, I will. Uh... Well, yeah, I have I have first watch, so. I'll keep Nick out. You want me to do a perception check? Uh, actually, I was going to ask. It is getting to 6 o'clock, but if you guys are wanting to keep going, I'm perfectly fine with that. Mm -hmm. I'm, just I'm good until 6.30. Okay. We can try to finish up the Silver Quest thing and go back to the city. Yeah, let's keep rolling. So, okay. Perception check. Perception... With Ooh. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. As you're watching, he sees that. You clearly see. As you look into the tree, he moves. There's nothing there. And you see shadows catching. Them rushing. Okay. Um. Wait. Do you have them on here? I do. Showing them. Now. No. Let's see here. I'm going to send Nicodemus to crash through the window. And screech and flap at both of them to wake them up. And I will take a uh, pop shot with fireball at one of these. All right. Before we do that, Vespers and Gesh, how do you react to this? Gesh is just like basically startles awake and is just like, "What the?" F fuck is going on seeing the owl he's just like something this is weird and goes out wants to go outside to check basically what's going on uh, what about vesper vesper will be grumbling about broken sleep and no healing and but i'm gonna go to the window where the owl crashed through is it on this edge right here yeah. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to come here and have my crossbow ready and looking out the window. As Morgan sees you, so, and Gesh, as you run around the house, not right there, Morgan points out the shadows to As we rush forward, roll initiative. Yeah. Oh, was I going to get a, a pop shot off? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead and take your pop shot. Woo! That's funny. Oh, nice! Where were these rolls, like, a minute ago? I don't know. Okay, seven. <laughs> what are you shooting at? Uh... The one right next to me. The one closest. Uh, what was your initial? Alright. 
yeah, nine. I'm going last. <laughs> All right. So at least I get the pop shot. Yeah, at least you get yeah. the pop shot. All right, and you're hitting this one. And as it rushes forward, take a hand. Fire fireball as it rips through. Bursting it. <laughs> and that's Bruce kind of squeezing fire. <laughs> Go ahead and go, Vespers. I am going to shoot the closest one. Is this one? With one? my, um... Fire. With my hand crossbow, what? Uh, the other one was obliterated by fire, so the closest one. Woo! <laughs> Shit. Shit. As it rushes towards the wall, you may have shot off as it passes through its head, damaging it. Hey, is that a magical crossbow? Plus one crossbow or something? No, that's all I have. I'm Until I can rest, I have nothing. Alright. It threw its head, damaging it, halting its head. Guess just turn. Yes, it is. Yes, I'll say you got okay. the health, just you don't have your spell slot. To like your ability. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, that was the correct thing. <laughs> uh, Full health right. is good. I'm not going to argue about that. Thank you. I'll absolutely take it. Where was I originally here? Perfect. So I'm going to go right up to this guy. Oh, there's two. And my <laughs> newly found silver halberd going to come in big handy here. Are you going to give it a name? Oh yeah, baby. Nice. Not so nice. <laughs> yeah. Bonus action! Ah, polearm, polearm, feet, thing. Six plus uh that's gonna be I what think twelve. Yeah, my strength mod and my proficiency bonus will make it twelve. Alright, twelve. Does that hit? Well, damage. It does. Tight. Nice. All right. Ten oh. damage. No, that's ten damage total. Total, yep. Is Six slashing, four bludgeoning. Yes. Oh, yes. Do I add it to the damage as well? Yeah. Your strength and damage calculation. So how much would that be? Okay. Total? Yeah, you need you need to make a, a quick tab for your uh, your pull arm backhand. Yeah. Uh. Here, I've got it's just uh. Damage over twelve. No, it is not over 12. And what's your strength mod, actually? 4. Plus 4 to that? Yeah. 6 plus 8. That is... Yeah, that is 12. Oh, wait, no, it's not. That's uh, that's 14. Oh, uh, math. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that kills it. Nice. Come in. Stab it with the back end of your... A push it up out of the ground where it was, kind of slinking shadows. Knock it up in the bicep. <laughs> now, yeah. Shadows turn. Let's try to hide as a bonus action here. Everybody go ahead and make perception checks to see. Definitely not. Should I roll a d100? 20. Oregon sees it. Yes, roll, yes, roll a d100, Gesh. 39. So, Morgan... I it, still see it. But because it's still in that one, uh... Gesh does not see it. Up behind him. 
gonna get advantage on back and into the Oh, it's going. Mm. That hit. Ah, it's my AC. Alright. It does 14 damage. 14? Yep. And you lose strength. Oh, again with this. The curse, yeah. Alright. 19 minus 316. Okay, I'm going to step out, but across from the no, um, she she doesn't shoot me. That's <clears throat> and I'm keeping my finger. I'm just keeping my finger trained on it, and I will cast firebolt again. Nine does not hit. Ugh. It manages to kind of uh, dodge it. Leave behind Gesh as what else you'd like to do? Um, I will send. No, no. Okay. okay. Did you see my uh, perception roll? <coughs> Okay, um, I am gonna do the hand crossbow again. Ooh! It's so. As you're pulling a. I pull the. I to sleep. Oh, you just got hit with some very tragic news. Guy that basically showed you how to live dead because of these things. Just uh, so many emotions while you're half asleep. Finally, take a shot and you hit Morgan. Oh! But it only does half damage because you just skirt. So you take three points of damage more as an arrow just kind of scratches your arm. As it Ow, yeah. That's what I get for stepping in front of the window. <laughs> Sorry. I'd like to do Gish. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna. I I know she's behind me now, right? <laughs> yeah, you know he's behind. Here, it. <laughs> the shadow thing. So I'm gonna turn. I'm just gonna. Yeah, minus three. What does that put you? Sixteen. Minus I can do. Yes. Alright, so do this. Okay, yeah, that's still hit. Nice. And we're gonna do this. So that's five slashing day. Yes. And then I'll use my bonus action to do the same thing. Which now has a nice neat Thanks. That... that still hits. Go ahead and nice. Mm. Minus two on that as well. Damage. Three. This time, you just kind of poke it with the butt and bring the blade down. It manages to die, but it's not happy about oh. it. Oh! Come on! Now it's turn. Hide as a bonus action. Oh, we'll do 100. <laughs> right. It kills itself. <laughs> that, that's that's happened. Uh, it just it tries to stealth, but uh, for some reason it isn't. Looks at the ground around it, and it just can't stealth at all. In fact, because he rolled a one, he can't even attack because he's focused on trying to stealth. <laughs> I'm gonna sidestep farther away from that window. <laughs> ah! Straight line. Right. And 
Good old Yusuke Yurameshi taught me this trick. Oh fuck. He's sideways. Oh. What happens when you make anime references? <laughs> Go ahead, roll D100. 83! <laughs> Let's play a game. How did Morgan fuck this up? <laughs> I'm gonna say you hit get. Yo, remember that time we thought we were gonna go clear out the cave and finish the game by 6 30? Yeah. No, no. No, no. Yeah. Take a shot. It's Gesh. Go ahead and roll damage. But luckily for you, Gesh is resistant to fire. Oh, yeah, I am. Should I roll damage? Should roll damage. Ah, oh, shit. Go for a Gesh roll. <laughs> I only take half, though, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Five. But it still right. hurts. I'm alive! <sighs> and Vesper's just, you know, saying, Freaking thank you, out. the fire's going the other way. Thank you, the fire's going the other way. <laughs> thank you, the fire's going the other way. <laughs> Golly, there's always just that one shadow at the end that just messes with everyone. <laughs> that's what happened last time, yeah! Alright, Vespers, what do I do? Crossbow shot? Uh, I, I do want to state, as a bonus action, and I want to ready myself. Ready yourself to dismiss. Out. To dismiss Nicodemus. Okay. Oh! If that bitch gets near me, I'm snapping my fingers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going through that again. <laughs> so that's my bonus action. I'm ready, I'm getting myself, like, I'm... I'm Preparing, okay. She's that far away. She gets closer. Vesper's turn. Ugh. What'd you like to do, Vespers? Oh, she fell back asleep. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I'm gonna oh, hang on, Melinda. I'm gonna do the uh, crossbow again. Alright. That's not it. Oh wait, it does it. Okay. However, it does do half damage. Still alive. It's not feeling very happy though, as it has multiple arrows stuck in it. <laughs> Stabbed a few times. Now Gesh's turn. Alright, let's finish this. Let's wrap this up, shall we? <laughs> Yep. That hits. How do you hits. Do this? All right. Pretty simply, I'm just gonna take my halberd and I'm gonna bring it up over my head and basically bring it down, almost like I'm chopping wood, and just cut straight down, top to bottom, driving it so hard it actually goes right into the ground. All right. <laughs> Guys, man, kill it. Success. Can I sleep now? <laughs> we'll go ahead and end the session here. And if you guys want, we can either do just a small mini session to finish up the month. Uh, just the upcoming week time. We'll worry about that next session. I'm good during the week, except on Thursday nights. Also, gonna go ahead and end the recording here. Everybody for watching.